The Adrian College Media Production House provides opportunities for students to learn and grow live on the airwaves, just like Matt Kibbe. I've gotten a chance to create a relationship with coaches and teams and learn more from people instead of trying to teach myself something. I've gotten an opportunity to expand my knowledge of sports, hone in on my skills as a broadcaster, and learn about equipment in different ways. You get, a, you get more of a connection with professors as well. Providing opportunities, growing leadership. The Adrian College Media Production House. Thanks for tuning in. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, leaders who can electrify sold out crowds, got out a last line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Adrian College is a pinpoint like no other. With our 77 undergraduate degrees, 47 majors, and 21 broad fields of study, Adrian has a one-of-a-kind, hands-on learning experience for everyone. Do you want to visit the campus of Adrian College in person? Visit adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Again, that's adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Come take in the beautiful facilities at Adrian College for yourself. If there was one word I was going to use to describe the communication arts program at Adrian College, it would be unique. Students find themselves on the radio, in front of and behind the camera, and directing their own programs. Students learn in a personalized environment that sets them up for a world of opportunities. Are you ready for your moment in the limelight? Learn more about the Rush Communications Center and Adrian College's communications program by visiting adrian.edu today. I'm Matt Kibbe, the current student body president here at Adrian College. I chose AC because the campus simply feels like home. Everywhere I go, I know the amenities are there to help me succeed and get to the next level in my career. If you want to see what Adrian College has to offer, you can schedule an in-person visit at adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Adrian College has dozens of athletics programs and winning is a staple on our campus. We have the culture of winning in and out of the classroom. This is a place where young men and women grow into professionals for life. Are you interested in learning more about the Bulldog experience? Visit adrianbulldogs.com and the Recruit Me tab to be recruited to play your sport of choice today. If you have what it takes, you could be a Bulldog in no time. Adrian College Television would like to give a big thank you to our sponsor, Carlton Lodge of Adrian. Carlton Lodge is sponsoring all ACTV broadcasts during the 2021 to 2022 school year. Located at 1629 West Maumee and Adrian, Carlton Lodge offers comfortable rooms and suites at affordable rates. There's also a heated indoor and outdoor pool along with a 24-hour fitness center. Thank you for the continued support toward Adrian College Television. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, 
Leaders who can electrify sold-out crowds, got out a last-line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth, and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. Adrian College has once again been recognized for its commitment to engaged, experiential education by Colleges of Distinction, a one-of-a-kind guide for college-bound students. While higher education has changed over the past 20 years, Colleges of Distinction's selection process has stayed consistent 
and accepting only those that adhere to the four distinctions, engaged students, great teaching, vibrant community, and successful outcomes. Overlaid in the last few years have been a look into high-impact practices. They believe most critical to the student experience were the kinds of engaging experience that are found at Adrian College. To learn more, please visit adrian.edu. April 6, 2021, I was sitting in my office and an email popped into my inbox from someone in your graduating class today. The email said, Dear President Docky, back in August I had emailed you in regards to the state of the well-being of the campus community during the COVID spike. At that time, I was incredibly anxious about the prospect of spending my senior year of college sitting at my kitchen table in my hometown trying to finish my seminar projects in the event we switched to all online learning. As I type this email now in April, I cannot describe to you the gratitude that my fellow students and I have for Adrian remaining open on campus for the duration of the school year. I wanted to take the time to thank the Adrian College community, the faculty, the staff, for allowing us to have as normal of a year as possible in a world that simply did not want that to happen. I look forward to walking across the stage in May knowing that I was still able to enjoy time with my friends and the Bulldog community during my senior year. All the best, Max Birmingham. Class of 2021. Max, you've got to stand up so we can give you a round of applause. For those of us on this stage, today is one of the most exciting days of the year. We love to see the wonder and anticipation in the eyes of our new students as all of you anxiously await all of the amazing experiences that will define the years ahead.
welcome to Docking Family Stadium here on the campus of Adrian College and your home for Bulldog football as we move into conference play here. Game number three. Last time we were here, close loss to the Trine Thunder. They were in a close game earlier today. We'll tell you about that a little bit later. Hello, everyone. Ian Wett, Thomas Doney joining me in the booth for the first time. It's been a carousel of who's doing these games with me. I appreciate you being on, and it's, it's going to be a good one. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, yeah, I'm happy to be here. This is something uh, I've dreamed of doing, and I'm, I'm excited to join you, Ian. Well, I'm sorry I'm in your dream. <laughs> I'll do oh, my best. Great. <laughs> so we have uh, Kalamazoo coming to town to take on the Adrian College Bulldogs. Adrian dropped to 1-1 one and one in the conference last week. Uh, Kalamazoo trying to get off the mat. Uh, they are 0-2 in this MIAA campaign as uh, you know the the big game of note for you scoreboard watchers for the conference in the MIAA was at Olivet this afternoon as the Comets were hosting the Trine Thunder Trine with one league loss and that was to Alma Olivet undefeated in league play but if you're doing the math and you want Adrian to have the best shot you need trying to lose again they were down big 21 to 6 Thunder comes storming back tie it late in the fourth quarter Game goes to three overtimes, and the Thunder win that one, 39 to 37, in a wild game and in a, in a league, the Michigan Intercollegiate Athletic Association. That, uh, in my opinion, and I think in Coach Deer, his opinion for the Bulldogs, it's one of the best and deepest he's ever seen. And uh, Thomas, do you agree? Just based on some of these scores that are coming out. Oh yeah, absolutely. When you see these close games. Um, you lose by a touchdown, going to triple overtime even, uh, you know it's a competitive uh, conference and everybody's going to go out there, they're going to try their best and you're watching them around the league and you're hoping that somebody's able to slip up and make a mistake because it is so tight, you want a chance to jump the ropes in that uh, race. A beautiful, bright, sunny fall, late afternoon here in southern Michigan, right in the heart of Illinois County as the Bulldog marching band makes their way out. Partly cloudy and 52 in southern Michigan today. A little bit of a breeze. We might see a gust this afternoon. But consistently, about 14 miles an hour could gust up into the 20s as the Bulldogs are going to take on the Kalamazoo College Hornets as they are coming into town here today. We'll take a 60-second break. The Bulldog pregame show continues on the Adrian College Sports Network. It's family weekend, so uh, a lot of people in town for uh, this weekend. That's right. We welcome not only family weekend and all of our Bulldog family far and close by, but also Bulldog 101. So possibly some future Bulldogs visiting campus today. So campus has been pretty busy. We're happy to have everybody and welcome them and end it all up with some Adrian College Bulldog football. Yeah, I couldn't think of a, a better way. It's a busy day uh, across the parking lot as well at the Arrington Ice Arena as the men's D1 team uh, beat Liberty University earlier today. It's the black and gold games for both hockey teams, the men's and women's for the NCAA Division III. So a busy day on campus, parking a difficulty. So if you can't make it here, we appreciate you tuning in to this broadcast here this afternoon. Uh, all right, let's take a look at some of these players. And of course, uh, the one to note is the Adrian College quarterback. 
He's been very solid this season, warming up down on the sideline. Number 17, Aaron Jenkins, the graduate transfer in for Coach Deer and Coach Bailey on this Bulldog offense. Thomas, I don't know if you've had a chance to see Aaron a lot, but he's a guy that can throw if needed, but he's a big physical kid. I mean, he's 6'1", 200 pounds. He's not afraid to run the rock. Absolutely, and when you have a versatile quarterback with the ball, it really puts the defense on their toes. You know, you have to watch not only the deep ball, short passes, but also that quarterback can take that ball, run with it at any time. It, it creates quite the challenge. And speaking of running with it, the running back, Stephen Moses, where's number 24 for the dogs? He's a load to take down. He came into uh, campus here as a linebacker and was a pretty good one at that, but uh, Coach Deer, Coach Bailey, the offensive staff had a need for running back. He's filled that role very nicely. We'll take a 60 second break. Bulldog pregame show on the Adrian College Sports Network. We continue to take pride and learn from Asa Mahan's leadership today. Sixty-one years of commitment to harnessing the power of creativity, ingenuity, community, and academic excellence. I believe that if you get your degree here, the world is going to feel like it's shrinking. College Media Production House provides opportunities for students to learn and grow live on the airwaves, just like Matt Kibbe. I've gotten a chance to create a relationship with coaches and teams and learn more from people. Looking down on Kaepernick Insurance Field, it's a beautiful day for some MIAA football, the country's oldest conference, and in my opinion, some of the best football around. I'm not saying that because they pay me or anything, but uh, some great old-fashioned Division three college football, looking forward to it between the Bulldogs and the Hornets uh, coming into play today. Ian Wentz, Thomas Doney here with you this afternoon and into the night. Should be a good one between the Bulldogs and the Hornets here this afternoon. When you think uh, Adrian College this season, Thomas, it's been about the defense and what they've been able to do. This is a very senior heavy, a top heavy Bulldog defense. You go down the line here, you have Randall Broom, the senior defensive tackle. Justin Wiseman, the senior defensive end. Senior defensive end, DeAndre Jennings. Up the middle, it doesn't get any younger as you have Kyle Minder, Andrew Numer, those two seniors and a grad student as well. Going to the back end of the secondary, it's Brandon Kwiatkowski, the longtime Bulldog safety, number six. Donovan McCary back there as well, he's a senior. And uh, the two corners out there for Adrian are Tyrell Diener and Jimmery Cannon. They are both seniors now, and I'm getting to that point where I say I remember when they were freshmen, and it's hard to believe they're seniors already, but a very solid defensive core, Tom, Thomas, that just helps when you have that age and experience uh, on a defense. Absolutely. When you have a chance to spend some time under the same coaching regimen, go through your four years, and really get to grow within the program, and it's a, it adds a huge benefit. Um, all the seniors on the team, you know, that you really see, they express physicality. They want to be tough. They know what their job responsibilities are, and it shows on the field. The Kalamazoo College Hornets have hit the field out of their sideline. And they are coached by Jamie Zorbo, assisted by John Krajiak. And the Bulldog captains are walking out through the tunnel through a crowd of cheerleaders. They're going to be DeAndre Jennings, Malik Ray, Aaron Jenkins, and Brandon Kwiatkowski. Adrian wearing their all black pants. They're wearing the gold jerseys with the black numbering. Something I'm used to seeing on the road. But the Bulldogs going with a nice classic look here today. Kalamazoo going with their all whites with the orange numbering for the Hornets here this afternoon. Coin toss moments away. And uh, real quick, Thomas, uh, what are the keys to you for victory 
We'll start with the visitors from Kalamazoo. What are they going to have to do to pull off this win? Well, I think first and foremost, uh, when you have a versatile quarterback like Adrian College does, uh, you really have to have somebody watching him at all times. You need to make sure you control that run game. Adrian has been dominant in the run game this season so far. So controlling the run game, watching that quarterback, I think could uh, benefit him greatly. And the rest of the Bulldogs have hit the field here at Docking Family Stadium, Captain Concerns Field. Ian Wentz and Thomas Doney here with you this afternoon for the Bulldogs and the Comets. And if you are Adrian, what are your keys to victory? I think, you know, establishing that run game, it's important to uh, stick to your game plan and that model. I think, like I, we said earlier, you know, you have some tough um, seniors, offensive players sticking to that, that ground game. Uh, I think that's going to be Adrian's plan. And with that, we will take a 60-second break as kickoff approaches here on the Adrian College Sports Network. Adrian College has once again been recognized for its commitment to engaged, experiential education by Colleges of Distinction, a one-of-a-kind guide for college-bound students. While higher education has changed over the past 20 years, Colleges of Distinction's selection process has stayed consistent in accepting only those that adhere to the four distinctions, engaged students, great teaching, vibrant community, and successful outcomes. Overlaid in the last few years have been a look into high impact practices. They believe most critical to the student experience were the kinds of engaging experience that are found at Adrian College. To learn more, please visit adrian.edu. Welcome back here on the Adrian College Sports Network. Ian Wentz, Thomas Doney with you this afternoon. Kickoff from Kalamazoo coming up next. We'll pause 10 seconds for our network stations to identify themselves. Adrian College football on the Adrian College Sports Network. And we're back. It'll be a kickoff for Kalamazoo. They will kick off with the sun to their backs. Ball on the tee out there for their punter, Ian Burr. Nice name. Good way to start this football game. Kalamazoo kicking off from left to their right. Bulldogs, couple returners deep. One of those being Shenard Foster, the young speedster freshman from the Detroit area. Burr runs up. And here's the kick, and we're underway from MIAA play. A weird spinner caught by the up man. This will be returnable for Bernard Tyndall. And Tyndall gets up near the 35 for out down at the 34-yard line for Adrian College. And a solid return for Bernard Tyndall. And we'll see the Bulldog offense first. We don't need to really remind the Bulldog fans of that too often, but... Last time they were out here was a tough one against Trine, a 27-21 loss here at home. Really two big special teams plays and a fumble return for a Trine touchdown were the big difference in that football game, but a game that Adrian outstatted the Thunder but came out on the losing end. First play for the Bulldog offense. They put it now at the 35. Jenkins takes, gives to Moses. Space off left side. Moses toward the Bulldog sideline to the 40. 45 near the 50 and pushed out of bounds. By Kalamazoo's 13, Tristan Dames, the defensive back. The senior forced him out, but not after. And Adrian College, first down. Quick note at quarterback, it is not Aaron Jenkins. We're going to see Noah Hyde get some snaps here. The senior trips tight to the right. It's another give to Moses. Moses, some space through the middle. Cuts back to the left. Moses to Kalamazoo territory. All the way down to the 40. 35 near the 30-yard line. And the offensive line, two run plays. Big yardage for the Bulldogs' senior tailback. Yeah, you can see right off the bat, they're trying to dominate that run game. Uh, offensive line getting their blocks down. Great run. Going with the QB, Noah Hyde. No Aaron Jenkins. He was dressed and warming up. First drive of this football game. Kalamazoo shows pressure. They back off. Ball at their 29. It's going to be a run here. 
for Jimmy Clark. Jimmy Clark to the 20, the 15, bumped out of bounds. And Adrian Collins first down right away as Jimmy Clark gets in on the action. That left side of the offensive line led out there by 74, Nathan Bennett, opening up big time holes for these backs. Yeah, you see back to back, they went the same way with that ball, that offensive line. It looks like they're trying to target a weakness in the Kalamazoo defense. Gonna be a first and 10, Adrian working on their first possession here. One minute and 30 seconds have gone by here in this first quarter. We're scoreless. Noah Hyde from the shotgun. Claps his hands from the line of scrimmage is the 14. Hyde gives to Clark. Jimmy Clark spins into a tackle and thrown down for a short loss. Kalamazoo defender Peyton Fleming, the senior, makes the tackle and brings up a second down at about 12. Adrian started the possession at their own 35. All the way to the Kalamazoo 17 now. Second and a long 12. Clark stays in, two receivers out right, one left. That's Andrew Thomas, the freshman down there alone. Hyde surveys. He's gonna give it off to Jimmy Clark. Jimmy Clark finds room through the Bulldog offensive line down inside the 10 yard line. Following the blocking of his center out there. That's the Backup number 62, Isaiah Simon, as he's getting some action here as he is uh, playing actually right guard today as Braden Van Orden will play center once again as he was Bulldog center last week. And looking at the other lineman out there, Landon Banks is out at uh, right tackle. So a new look to the right side of the line. It's another run. Steven Moses, touchdown Bulldogs from six yards away. Steven Moses finds pay dirt, and it's a quick Bulldog touchdown. I love how they established that run game right from the beginning. They had a short loss there a couple plays ago, but they stuck to it, able to go right up that left side like they have been. Beautiful play, beautiful touchdown. And you said it, no passing on that play, on that drive rather resulting in the Bulldog touchdown, a six yard run for Steven Moses. This will be Walker Evans for the extra point. Snap is high, Snap, uh, hold is good, and the kick is up away and that is good. Credit Kenny Kuyama, the holder there. It's a seven nothing Bulldog lead with 11.57 to go in our first quarter. Kalamazoo football in 30 seconds on the Adrian College Sports Network. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, leaders who can electrify sold out crowds, got out a last line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. Back on the Adrian College Sports Network. Ian Wendt, Thomas Stoney here with you. And Noah Heidi leads the Bulldog offense down the field. Little 65 yard drive all on the ground. Stephen Moses and Jimmy Clark getting it done in that Bulldog backfield. They lead over Kalamazoo College here. 7 0 the score. We'll have a Bulldog kickoff for Alexander Owlett, the freshman from Onstead. Puts his foot into this one and it's a booming kick. Returnable though at about the Kalamazoo seven and he slips and falls. Kazoo College return man out there, number 82. Couldn't get his footing and Lucas Hannafin, the freshman receiver, puts his team behind the eight ball to start this drive. Spot him at the uh, nine yard line for a first and 10. Kalamazoo offense hits the field Josh Nichols the junior quarterback he stands in the shotgun with his running back bobbled snap but he hands it off anyway tries the Bulldog right side and Andrew Numer puts his shoulder into him and, and drives him down along with Justin Wiseman colliding for the tackle as the tailback on that play was John Brunette junior 5'10 200 pounds Goes the Kalamazoo tailback quickly to the line of scrimmage. Kalamazoo gonna go trips left. 
One alone to the right. Quarterback takes, gives to his running back, and the Bulldogs meet him right in the hole. Moves forward for a couple as Brunette gets met by the Bulldogs secondary. Donovan McCary, one of those Bulldogs. And on the tackle, brings up a quick third and short. We're going to call it two at the Kalamazoo 17. They need the 19 to the line already. Nichols claps his hands, and the receiver jumps on the far side. They're going to call that for the false start. Guilty party for Kalamazoo College. Bubba Wilson, the senior, went a little early, makes a third and two, a third and seven. That's a risk you play when you don't call a, call a new cadence in the huddle. You got your uh, wideouts confused. They're trying to hear the cadence from a little bit further away. So good position for the Adrian College defense. It is a third and seven. Quarterback back, Minder brings pressure. They throw it deep and it's too far. Five yards ahead of his man as they were looking for 16, Jonas Spates. And Nichols felt some pressure from the Bulldog backer, Kyle Minder, and let it fly. And that was good coverage by Tyrell Diener there. Uh, didn't let his man get away from him. Little overthrown ball, but great three and out there by the Adrian College Bulldogs. So a Bulldog six play, 65 yard touchdown drive for the offense. Now the defense gives up three yards in three plays. Thanks to a penalty, it's a fourth and seven. The Hornets back to punt. This is Ian Burr, gets the snap, puts foot to leather. It's a wobbler, hits at the Kalamazoo 45. And it's going to roll to the Bulldog 43, maybe 42. There's a flag back at the punter's location right at the goal line. As the punt finally stops at the Adrian College 40, but we will assess this penalty. We'll see if it's the 5 or a 15-yarder. I'm not sure what the call is here. Likely on the punting team, or the punt return team. Whether it's a automatic first down or just a five yard. It is a running into the kicker. So just a five yard penalty on the Bulldog defense. And this will be a now a fourth and two once they spot the ball. They're walking the ball the wrong way. Was it not against Adrian College? There we go. Get the get the umpire the right GPS. Walks it up to the Kalamazoo 17, where it will be fourth and two. And the Bulldogs got lucky there with that just being a five-yard penalty for running into the kicker and not an automatic first down. This is Burr back again to punt. Ten and a half to go in the first. Bulldogs bring a slight rush this time. This one an even better kick from Burr. Rolls out of bounds inside the Adrian College 40, and they spot it at the 36. So two drives. First one for Adrian started at the 35. They went down and scored this one from the 36. And I'm... Just going to go on a limb here and say Adrian's going to try to run that ball again. Oh, absolutely. When it worked so well that that first drive that they had, really only one negative play for him on the run game. No passes at all. I, I could see them sticking to the run here. Bulldog backs have accumulated 65 yards. And the touchdown for Steven Moses. He's in the backfield with Noah Heidi. Claps his hands. Twice. Here's the ball. He's going to throw out in the flat, and it's caught by Andrew Thomas. A bang-bang tackle by number 14 for Kalamazoo. Ryan Hannafin hit Thomas right away, not after he picked up five yards. That was a great read by Noah Heidi, saying that he was playing off the receiver there. A quick five-yard pass keeps the Bulldogs moving. Second down, five. Just inside 10 minutes to go here in our first quarter. It's a 7-0 lead for the Bulldogs. Heidi takes, gives to Moses. Off left tackle. Moses 
runs over a secondary player, hits a linebacker right at the sticks. And he might be a half a yard short as he went off that left side again. And why not the way Nathan Bennett's been blocking today? And Steve, Stephen Moses, such a physical runner. It's so hard to bring him down in the open field. They're going to continue to run up that left side. Third and one here. 9.20 to play in our first. Three receivers tight to the line on the right side. They're bunched up. Andrew Thomas alone at the bottom. Moses, the tailback, he's going to get a Bulldog first down, drives his legs toward the 50, and he's going to be right at the Adrian 49 for a Bulldog first down. Give him another four yards for Stephen Moses. He's fun to watch, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, that physical running, knowing that you're going to need more than one defender to bring him down. It's, it's always nice to have a guy like that on a third down, third and short play knowing that you can send them out there and they're gonna fight for that first down. Deontay Townsend, Kenny Kuyawa, and Andrew Thomas are the three Bulldog wideouts from right to left. Noah Heidi in the shotgun, Jimmery Cannon with him at the tailback spot. First and 10 from the Bulldog, 49. Heidi, he's back to pass. Looking, looking, throws middle, caught by Kuyawa, takes a huge hit at the Kalamazoo 30. He held on for an Adrian first down and a 21-yard pass from Noah Heidi. What a beautiful dart he threw there. He saw his man. It was a quick slant out towards the middle. It was a beautiful pass, beautiful tackle as well as you see a Kalamazoo player down. Yeah, just a big-time collision as soon as Kenny caught the pass and the injured Hornet was Micah Groom. He's up though walking with little assistance being uh, escorted to the Kalamazoo sideline. As it stands, it's a first and 10 for the Adrian College offense. They go from the Kalamazoo College 30, leading 7 0, 820 left in the first. Heidi in the gun. Clark next to him to his right. Two tight ends in, two receivers to a side. It's a fake and a rollout and a catch made and a spinning move right at the sticks and an Adrian first down. We'll get the number, Thomas. It looked like 18 with the catch for Adrian College. And that is Jacob Conklin with the catch. He's listed on the roster as a quarterback. He might be like the fifth string quarterback. Well, that's the versatility we're talking about here at the Adrian <laughs> College Bulldogs. That's right. Your linebackers are running backs and your quarterbacks are receivers. Exactly. Nice concentration by Heidi to stand in there and complete that pass. First down, Adrian at the Kalamazoo 19. This is a run for Jimmy Clark. Left side for Clark to the 15, to the sideline, near the 10. And that's right near the sticks where he needs to get a first down as they are favoring that left side to run the ball. And why not if it just keeps working, keep on doing it. And that is enough for a Bulldog first down. You see the Adrian College Bulldogs showing Kalamazoo that yes, they're dominant running the ball, but they can pass it as well. Kalamazoo defense is going to have to do something to be able to figure out these Adrian College Bulldogs. First and goal from the KZU 9, leading by 7 here at home. Still Jimmy Clark in at running back. Three receivers tight into a trips formation on the right side of the line. Andrew Thomas alone wide out left. Heidi will take, give. Clark makes a move in the backfield, dives ahead down near the 5. As he was following Braden Van Orden, the Bulldogs center on that play and Clark will sub out. That was great vision there by Jimmy Clark. Nothing to the right side, was able to bounce back to that dependable left side so far today. Good pickup on a, could have been negative play. They spot it right at the five. Bulldogs up seven, nothing on a six yard touchdown run by Steven Moses. He's in the ball game now. Heidi from the shotgun. Kalamazoo showing three across the front. Give Moses left side, driving, fighting, leaning, and he's just short. Right to the one yard line he goes. It looks like even if the play is designed to go to the right, these backs are finding that left side anyway. <laughs> Absolutely, you see him. He got right behind big number 74, Nathan Bennett there, rode his back all the way down to the one yard line. That offensive line on that left side is 
moving those defenders out of the way. Jackson Sela again at that left guard spot, number 68, putting in work. It's a third and goal now from the Kalamazoo one. Heidi in the shotgun with Moses on his right. Give to Steven, gets hit in the backfield, dives for it, and he's in for the Bulldog touchdown. Moses has his second, a one yard run for the Bulldog running back, and it's now 13 nothing here in middle stages of the first. Like I said earlier, when you need that extra one or two yards, you want a guy like Steven Moses on your team. The physicality he showed, shoving his way through, fighting to get that touchdown. Steven Moses last week against Trine scored all the Bulldog touchdowns. He had three last week. He's already up to two here this evening. This is Walker Evans on for the point after. Snap is good, hold is good, kick looks good. And that's because it is. It's a 14 nothing lead for the home team. Adrian 14, Kalamazoo zero. 5.33 to go in the first. We'll take a 30 second break. Bulldog football on the Adrian College Sports Network. Bulldog fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. We're back on the Adrian College Sports Network. Stephen Moses adds to his total as he scores on a one yard touchdown run. Caps off that Adrian College drive that went 64 yards to the house. And uh, Thomas, that time, a little bit of Noah Heidi on yeah. that drive. Right, and, and that's what the Bulldogs are planning to do, show them that we can do the both. We can run it and we can pass it. They've been pretty dominant on offense so far. Not too many negative plays. Alexander Owlett kicks off again. This one fielded cleanly at the 13 of Kalamazoo. Cuts up field toward the 30 and gets pushed back. We'll see where they spot it for the Kalamazoo possession. And uh, Heidi in this game so far, three for three for 36 yards and that long of 21 to Kenny Kuyawa. For the running back, Steven Moses, seven carries, 56 yards, averaging eight a carry. He does have two touchdowns. Jimmy Clark, five carries for 40 yards. Meanwhile, the Kalamazoo offense has gained three yards net. They go from their 29. Quarterback looks right, throws middle, hit, and incomplete. The receiver hit by Kyle Minder, the Bulldog linebacker as Jonas Spates was the intended target of the Kalamazoo quarterback. And that was also great coverage by both defenders there. Uh, offensive player took his eye off the ball there for a second and that's why it ended up being an incompletion but great pass by the Kalamazoo quarterback. Josh Nichols out there. He operates from the shotgun. I think just about everybody does. <laughs> Under five and a half to go in this quarter. Here's a runoff left tackle. Bulldogs sniff it out after about a two yard pickup for the Kalamazoo running back here on that play. Looked like number 42 for the KZU offense getting a chance there as Connor Bell, the freshman, ran it ahead for about three yards. Quickly a third down again. Four fifty-five and rolling here. In the first quarter, Adrian up 14-0. Kalamazoo shifting formations. They'll put three wide receivers out left, one alone on the right. Nichols calling out the protection, two on the play clock. Receiver in motion, they get the snap off. Feeling some pressure, rolling right, looking for someone to throw. He's got a man out there and it's incomplete. Well, he was going for the running back out there just out of the fingertips of Connor Bell. As a little improvisation from the Kalamazoo tailback, that's the right move. The throw just missed him by a couple feet. Yeah, that's his second overthrow of the day. I didn't, that is because of the pressure that has been caused by that Bulldog defensive line. We'll see another punt for Ian Burr. We'll pick our player of the game at the end of the game, but Ian Burr has the name of the game. <laughs> I'll give it to him right now. That's because we haven't heard of Thomas yet. <laughs> there, there might be time. There might be some time here. Time in the game is 431 left in the first. Here's the punt by Burr. It's a beauty. 
Drives Kwiatkowski back to his 18 yard line. Looking for blocking, there's not much. He gets up over the 25 near the 28. That's where he's dropped by the Kalamazoo coverage unit. So Burr with a very good punt there for Kalamazoo, the worst starting field position for the Adrian offense. Noah Heidi getting the start today. Not sure if it's a, a health reason that Aaron Jenkins is not playing or if it's precautionary for something, but he was out there with full pads on, warming up earlier, but he has not seen the field today. Noah Hyde from the shotgun. He's gonna fake a run to Clark, roll out, throw, caught by Tyler Poirier behind the line. Quickly up to the 30, 35. Runs through a Hornet near a first down as the reliable Tyler Poyer picks up nine on the first down reception. And that is that physicality that we keep talking about with this Bulldog team. Couple things that we've sort of seen disappear over the years in college football. One of them taking snaps under center. Right. And the second one is huddles. Yep. Nobody really huddles A lot anymore. of hurry ups. Second and one for the Adrian offense. Give to Jimmy Clark. Room up the middle, first down Bulldogs. He's to the 45 and pushed right there down to the turf. Tackled by the Kalamazoo College linebacker, Jake Robertson, the senior. Another big run there, uh, another Bulldog first down, but more importantly, they're showing a lot of balance so far. A lot of pass and run plays, showing that getting these defenses a lot of different looks. From Bruiser's left elbow, as we look down on Kaepernick Insurance Field, it might be up on his uh, tricep a little bit, <laughs> technically, if you're looking down at the field. Heidi with two receivers left, one right. This is a give to Stephen Moses. Room off left side. Stop me if you've heard that before. Moses rumbling into Kalamazoo territory, quickly to the 30, and he goes down there. Wow, did you see the size of that hold that that left side had created for Stephen Moses? Beautiful work by that offensive lineman. Nathan Bennett, Jack Cecila eating thus far in this football game. I'm jealous because I'm getting very hungry up here in the booth. <laughs> I would trust them to block me, to get me anywhere, to lead me to the promised land. They've blocked very well so far. Under three minutes to play here in the first. It's a 14-0 Adrian lead. Noah Heidi. From the gun, left foot slightly before the right foot. Heidi feeling pressure, throws it out to the sideline and nearly caught, but some quick Kalamazoo College pressure applied by Adam Stapleton, the sophomore linebacker. You know, Ian, back to that left side. They have been dominant today. What I've noticed the, the most is number 64, uh, left guard. Uh, he's been able to shut off his block the past three runs, they get to the linebacker, open up room for Steven Moses to hit that left side. I see them utilizing that left side as their strong side majority of this game. Ben Pulaski, the first time he's been in it, wide receiver. He goes up to the top, stacked look. Two receivers on either side. The running back is Clark. Give off to Jimmy Clark, right side, no cooking there. Kalamazoo gets the stop after Minimal, if not no gain on second down. As we are now at 2.13 left here in this first quarter. The third Bulldog possession, the first two resulting in touchdown runs for Steven Moses. Run the same formation, two receivers stacked behind each other on the left and right side. Can Kalamazoo get their first third down stop here of this game? Three down linemen. Showing pressure. Heidi from the shotgun takes, looks right, looks right, rolls right, has some room, decides to throw it late across the middle into the end zone, and it is caught for the touchdown. How did he make that happen? Noah Heidi threw it up, and the Bulldog receiver coming down with it. Touchdown catch. For Cole Seslar, we're in number two today. Thomas, I'm surprised that was not an illegal forward pass, but they say Noah Heidi kept his feet behind the line 
and a monster touchdown pass. Absolutely, he was right on that line when he threw that ball, and he threw it up in the air for anybody to grab a number two. Cole Sessler got up, went up there, and he got that ball. What an incredible catch in that south end zone. Walker Evans puts it through. It's all Bulldogs in the first quarter. 21-0 our score. We'll pause 30 seconds here on the Adrian College Sports Network. back on the Adrian College Sports Network. Ian Wentz, Thomas Doney here with you on this broadcast between the Bulldogs and the Hornets of Kalamazoo College and a strike from Noah Heidi gives the Bulldogs their third touchdown of this first quarter. A minute 35 left in it still in a game that's been really dominated by the home team. Most recently, the touchdown pass from Noah Heidi to Cole Seslar on a third and long. Here's a low rolling kick by Walker Evans that's going to go out of bounds inside the Kalamazoo 20. That's something the special teams unit has tried before is kick it low, keep it away from dangerous return men. Didn't quite work there. Yeah, unfortunately, that one rolled out of bounds. Smart special teams play by... Kalamazoo there to let that one roll out. It's going to be a great ball placement, great start and field position for him. Mark it at the 35-yard line. It's a first and 10 for Josh Nichols first and company. Got his tailback with him in the backfield, John Brunette. That pass from Noah Heidi officially a 31-yard strike to Cole Seslar for the Adrian touchdown. Two receivers on the side for Nichols. Gonna take, give to Brunette up the middle. Bulldog string it out and take him down. Absolutely nowhere there for him to go. Justin Wiseman, the Moraine City native, the left defensive end brings him down for a short loss. Nothing there for Brunette. Minute 10 to go, pass over the middle, tipped and incomplete. Off the Keizu receiver's hands, a diving attempt by Kwiatkowski, couldn't get there as Kalamazoo was looking for their tight end. Number six, Lance Taylor, couldn't get it to him. Quickly now, a third and long for Kalamazoo. Third and 11 from the Keizu 34. 1-10 to go in our first quarter, and Adrian a lead here, 21 to nothing. Nichols backs up into the shotgun. He has three receivers left, one right. Bulldogs rush three, now fourth late. Time to throw, he does, caught, and that's short of the line to gain. Got to the 44-yard line. I think the, yeah, it was a catch by the Kalamazoo receiver, a bit of some hand fighting afterwards, and a Short reception turned into a good one for Andrew Widger, the senior. It's a fourth and one. I think Kalamazoo will go for this thing here down big. And that's probably a smart move for Kalamazoo. Good field position. Short gain here. Let's see if they can come up with it. Nichols barking out orders to his offensive line. So still Brunette in the backfield with him in the shotgun. It's going to be a give, and the Bulldog line pushes the Kazu line back. He's stuffed short. Adrian football and the defensive stand on fourth down. And you saw there Justin Wiseman immediately, as soon as that ball snapped, it felt like he was already in the backfield. The pressure that you're seeing from the Bulldogs' defense today has been phenomenal. They're not giving their quarterback any time to throw that ball or hand it off. Ian Wentz, Thomas Doney on the Adrian College Sports Network. 22 seconds left here in this first quarter, and you're you're right, it's line play on both sides. And the, the game of football is pretty simple. 
you win the line of scrimmage, you're likely going to win the game. Right. And I think Kalamazoo's offensive line is having trouble today. First and 10 for the Bulldog offense from the Kalamazoo 42, leading 21 0. Noah Heidi from the shotgun. Malik Ray, the running back, to give his to Malik. Malik tries the middle, bounces it right side. Good for about three yards for the Hudson High School graduate. Longtime Bulldog here. One of those players where I also say, I remember when he was a freshman. Yeah. He's been doing this for a long time. That's going to be the final play of the first quarter. It's a Bulldog party here at Docking Family Stadium. 21-0 our score. We go to the second quarter. Bulldog football on the Kalamazoo 39. We'll be back in 30 seconds on the Adrian College Sports Network. College Sports Network. Adrian College right now acknowledging their Adrian College Student Scholar of the Game, presented by President Jeff Docking and Dr. Christine Nags. Bulldogs will take over on the 39 yard line as we start off the second quarter. Very nice tribute down there to start the second quarter. As you said, Thomas, with a second down, should be about seven or eight. They put the ball at the, yeah, it's at the 39. Get the chain set up across the way. What a beautiful night for football as uh, the home fans are patiently waiting for that sun to go down. We won't see that until late in the second half, though, unfortunately. Noah Heidi in the offense, second and seven from the shotgun, claps his hand. The give is to Malik Gray. Malik Gray tries to bounce left side, he can't. Stuffed at the 40 and dropped down right there. The Kalamazoo defender storming into that backfield. It's Dylan Gacky on that tackle for loss and Adrian looking at another third and long. And the last one though, 31 yard touchdown pass from Noah Heidi to Cole Sessler. We'll see what they draw up here. Yeah, you see Malik Ray thought that he could bounce that dependable left side today, but uh, big defender was able to get in there and uh, tackle for loss. From the Kalamazoo 40, wind at the back of the Adrian College quarterback. Stands at the Kalamazoo 45, snap is to him. Looking right side, tipped off the hands of Ben Koloski and incomplete. Would have been a five yard gain anyway. And a brief whistle just separating two players. It's a fourth down from the Adrian College opponent 40 yard line and a very conservative play call there on third down. Yeah, I think the Bulldogs know the position that they're in. I uh, was looking to just get a couple yards out of, of that short pass, but it's gonna end up being a Bulldog punt. Jamel Thomas is the long snapper, number 12. Bulldog punter. First time we've seen Sammy Lofada. He stands at his own 45, puts his left foot into it from the 50. Trying to pin the Hornets deep. It's gonna hit at the 10 and roll inside the five. Can they get it? No, it goes into the end zone. That close to checking up inside the 10 for Sammy Lofada instead of touchback for Kalamazoo. It's always good when you say that uh, you see your punter for the first time in the second quarter, right? That means the game's going well for your team. Absolutely right. Right at the 20 yard line is where Kalamazoo will start this possession. As their offense has, we'll call it struggled and we'll say they've failed to establish the line of scrimmage. You see the mentality here for the Kalamazoo Hornets coached by Jamie Zorbo. QB in the shotgun. 
Bulldogs show pressure. He rolls to the right quickly, throws up there, caught at the 23 to the 25. Needs the 30, I think he got it. On that far sideline, he did pick up the 10 yards needed. And the Kalamazoo reception for the wideout, Jonah Spades, good for 10, and a Hornets first down. I just want to point out the pressure that we're seeing from 97 of the Bulldogs, Carter Sadlowski. Here's a quick pitch play. Bulldogs fill that run lane with who else but Brandon Kwiatkowski takes down the running back after a five yard gain and as a Hornet down, one of their offensive linemen will take a 60 second break as they tend to him. It's Adrian 21, Kalamazoo 0, 13, 38 to go before halftime on the Adrian College Sports Network. In its 2021 edition of America's Best Colleges, U.S. News & World Report has once again ranked Adrian College as a top regional college in the Midwest. The institution was named to the Best Regional College's Midwest section for the seventh consecutive year and once again listed number two in the Most Innovative Schools category. In addition to these honors, Adrian College was also named to the Best Undergraduate Teaching and Best Value College lists. Adrian College has been established as a distinctive and innovative educational leader in the United States. The institution places priority on a culture of innovation and critical thinking. This is the 12th consecutive year Adrian College has been featured by U.S. News & World Report. You can see the full list of rankings and find more information on their website. For more information about Adrian College, visit adrian.edu. We are back here on the Adrian College Sports Network, and thankfully, up onto his feet is the Kalamazoo College offensive lineman, the junior 71, Connor Henley. As they will take a look at him on that visitor's sideline. On the field, we're looking at a second down and five at the Kalamazoo 35. I'm Ian Wentz, Thomas Stoney joining me up here in the booth here today. Family weekend here at Adrian College. Saw a nice photo on social media about Grandparents Day. Was that Friday? Yep, that was Friday. It was one of my all-time favorite events. That's a great day. I love it. Here's the snap. Quick throw out there. It's going to be caught behind the line of scrimmage and tackled right away. And that's Brandon Kwiatkowski. A low hit on the running back, Connor Bell. Dropped for a loss of two and a Kalamazoo third down. That was beautiful, beautiful pursuit on the play. Track them down. Always, always want your players to be able to make those open field tackles. Beautiful. Bulldog safeties fly around on that defense. Adrian showing three down linemen. They rush three and a fourth late. Nichols throws, drops an incomplete. He had Ooh, his man at was the 41. There. You're right, it was there. Right through the arms of Bubba Wilson and goes incomplete. That would have been big for this Kalamazoo offense. Yeah, Bubba Wilson had to stretch out for it. It looks like he had the ball, but the uh, impact with the ground drawed it loose, and that's gonna bring up a, another fourth down for Kalamazoo. Another chance to say Ian Burr, <laughs> back to punt. Brandon Kwiatkowski, he's deep. 12.53 before halftime, Adrian up 21-0. Two rushing touchdowns by Steven Moses and a reception for Cole Seslar. Ian Burr walks over and he kicks this one away. It's a short wobbler. It's going to take a Bulldog bounce and roll inside Kalamazoo territory. And down at the 49. Not sure if there was a bit of a fake possibly called because Burr rolled to the left yep. like he was going to throw it and kicked it last minute. Yeah, but it looked like he was thinking about it. But it looks like the Bulldogs are gonna, did a great job covering those receivers end up kicking it wasn't a great kick either so we're starting with great field position for the Bulldogs 12 43 to go before the halftime intermission and the Bulldog offense with by far their best field position in recent memory 12 43 to go before the half 21 0 is our score Noah Heidi who got the start at quarterback today We'll give to Stephen Moses and penetration by Kalamazoo. Moses dropped for a massive loss inside the Bulldog 45 and the Kalamazoo penetration for 91, Blake Kelsey, the junior defensive lineman. 
Yeah, it looks like he was able to get in pretty much untouched. Stephen Moses didn't have a chance to find any opening at all. And they call it an eight yard loss. Moses was at 81 yards before that carry, averaging nine a rush. He'll stay in, in the backfield with his quarterback, Noah Hyde. Fake to Moses. Throw by Hyde and off the fingertips of Kate Townsend. Good throw and a nice attempt at it, but very tight pressure on that Kalamazoo defensive side. It looked like 35 made the play. Gabe Myers. Yeah, that was good coverage by Myers there. He tried to break it outside towards the out of bounds, but was unable to grab it. This is not great field position for the Bulldogs because of that loss. Let's see if they decide to be aggressive here and go for that first down. Third and 18. The black and gold operate from their own 44, leading 21-0. 11.57 left before half. Some noise from the Kalamazoo fans. Heidi claps his hands once. Kalamazoo shows pressure and they bring it. Heidi to throw behind it, caught by Kenny Kiyawa. Up to the 40, Kenny on his feet. Ball is loose. Ball is on the turf. Who's gonna grab it? Kalamazoo has it. Kenny fumbled it at the 35, kicked forward and the Hornets pounce on it. A Bulldog turnover and that went from jubilation to devastation as coming up with the football was Justin Negret for Kalamazoo. Yeah, that oh, one's Kiyawa difficult. had a first down. Yeah, he did. He more uh, probably, but uh, unfortunately wasn't able to hold on to that ball. Beautiful pass though, beautiful catch and run, and you, you, you saw that he had the uh, physicality to keep pushing to get that first down. Unfortunately wasn't able to hold on. So the first Adrian College turnover. Kalamazoo turned it over on downs earlier, so even in that statistic. Nichols looking right all the way, throws to the flat, caught, hit right away at the 30 yard line. And the Bulldogs, Jimmery Cannon, makes that quick tackle. And that was great vision there by Cannon. He was watching the quarterback's eyes, saw that he was going for the short pass there, was able to come up and make a great open field tackle. Second down and eight. Quick Bulldog pressure. Nichols throws, caught by the tight end at the 20 and falls forward to the 22. Bulldog tackle on that interior of that defensive line. Looks Not like sure. was it 90? I believe so. It looks like Kalamazoo is trying to set up a, a screen pass there, but it looks like they weren't able to let the defenders go long enough to get their blockers out there. Dominico Tejada in their defensive tackle makes his presence felt. 10.50 before halftime. 21-0 Bulldogs. Third and seven for Kalamazoo. Adrian showing pressure. Andrew Newmer off the left side. Nichols steps up, feels the rush, rolls to the sideline, throws across his body and caught and dropped. At the 30, threw it behind his man a little bit. As I'm not in a great spot for the number, there it is, number six for KZU, Lance Taylor. It was behind him, but it's one of those, Thomas, where you know it hits you in the hands. Mm -hmm. You, you got to come up with that one. Yep, my football coach always told me if it touches your hands, it was a catchable ball. But it was great pressure there by number 44, Andrew Numer, coming off the edge there. It forced their Kalamazoo quarterback to go off make a pass that he probably didn't want to make anyway, and that's why it ended up behind him. So after the Adrian fumble, Kalamazoo goes three and out on offense. Ian Burr is the punter. He stands at his own eight, waiting the snap. It's a high one. He's got it, though. Moving out to the right, kicks it last moment. It's a good one. It's going to hit at the 50, roll inside the Bulldog 40, and this is going to check up at the Adrian College 36-yard line. So, Ian Wendt, that's me, Thomas Doney, that's, that's, that's you. That's me. Yeah, that's you. Bringing you Bulldog football here this afternoon. But what have you liked in particular uh, on both sides of the ball for Adrian so far? So, on offense, uh, I've really enjoyed watching how they, you know, they started off all run plays, um, but they quickly switched over to passing to show that defense that they can be versatile, they can do both things. Um, but I've loved to see the physicality. Steven Moses, the way he's been running the ball today, picking up those extra yards, it's been a, a game changer. Noah Heidi back in. First and 10, they put it at the 41 yard line. This is a give to Moses, left side, trips and falls ahead for one, maybe two. As 
we approach 10 minutes to go. What have you liked about the Bulldog defense? The pressure that they're bringing, number 97, Carter uh, Sidolowski there, is coming off every play, in my opinion, bringing pressure, not giving them any time to really decide where to go with the ball. That's why you see a lot of overthrown balls. That quarterback keeps having to go out of pocket. That's because of pressure the Bulldogs are bringing. Under 10 to go now before the halftime break. Adrian up three scores here at home, 21 to zero. It's gonna be a run fake, pass to Tyler Poyer, caught, cuts back inside, near the 47, 48 yard line. That's where he will be dropped. And there is laundry on the field. That's not mine, it's one of the officials. Man, Tyler Poyer, he is dependable, isn't he? I've, he is. I was watching some film to prepare for this, and uh, he doesn't miss many. He's been very dependable this year for the Bulldogs. And that's another that's another student who's been here for a while, and you see that uh, the experience definitely pays off. He has an expectation for himself not to drop those balls. So they pick up the flag for an eligible receiver downfield. Sets up a third and four for the Adrian offense at their own 48. Noah Heidi in the shotgun. Two receivers stacked on left and right side. Kalamazoo shows four up front to bring a fifth late. Pass to the flat, caught by Ben Kowalski. And he is out of bounds right on the Adrian sideline. Right near the first down. I think they'll give it to him as Ben makes a reception. And they're going to give him a first down. Yes, they are. And that was a great job by Ben Kolowski there to keep his feet inbounds to pick up that little extra he needed for that Bulldog first down. We're starting to see some more rhythm out of the Bulldogs now after you know, that last drive being their first punt of the game. First and 10 they go from the Kalamazoo 48. Heidi claps once, no snap. Here's some pressure shown by Kalamazoo. They back out. It's gonna be a run fake. Heidi looking, looking, he's gonna be sacked. Thrown down in the backfield. The Kalamazoo sacked by Dylan Gecki, the freshman defensive lineman. Just too much time back there for Heidi to make a decision, give credit to the Kalamazoo coverage. Yeah, you saw Heidi thought he had somewhere he wanted to go, but the coverage was good. Took an extra minute to think about it, and Kalamazoo's defender was able to come in and stop him. Quickly now, second and 16. Two receivers out left, one right. Tight end, tight to the line, fake run. Heidi throws, caught by Kugawa. Up toward the Kalamazoo 40, put it at the, right at the 40, I think. Between the 40 and 41, I'm, the near side judge says the 40, the other one says the 41, I don't know. Either way, good uh, 12, 14 yard catch by Kenny right there. Yeah, Heidi wasn't taking any chances there. That was a, that was a dart he threw there. Got it out of his hands quick. It was a great reception, reception there by number four, Kenny. Kudrawa. Third down, they need two. They scrimmage from the Kalamazoo, 40, middle of the field. Two tight ends out there on the right side of the line. Heidi in the shotgun with Steven Moses. Kazu has three down linemen, linebackers at the line of scrimmage. Give to Moses up the middle. Needs two and got one. Down at the Kalamazoo College, 39. Some decision time for Coach Jim Deere, Coach Harry Bailey and this Bulldog offense. No indication they're leaving the field just yet. As is, it's a fourth and one at the Kalamazoo 39 with under seven minutes to go before half. Looks like they're gonna be going for it here. Why wouldn't you when you have a guy like Steven Moses who can run with that physicality to pick up? Here's a run to Moses up the middle, hitting the backfield, falls forward, and yes, indeed, squirted through that pile. He got stood up initially, but that's not enough if you're a defender to stop number 24. No, he is a tough runner. You see it constantly, play after play. He can pick up those extra yards, so it was an easy decision there for Coach Deere to put in his workhorse to pick that up. So the offense stays on the field, an opportunity to chew up some clock here. As they're working with a 21 point lead here at home. 6-14 and rolling. 
Kalamazoo blitzes a linebacker, give us to Jimmy Clark off right side to the 35. Spun down after a five yard pickup for the Bulldog tailback. 55 and 57 collide and combine for the Kalamazoo tackle. Andrew Munger and Dylan Gacky. Yeah, Jimmy Clark, he's a tough guy to tackle in open field. You saw three defenders there go after him and Jimmy Clark was able to use his vision, make his way around for a decent sized game. Two receivers out wide left, Andrew Thomas and Kenny Kiyawa. Keontae Townsend is the lone receiver down on the right. Noah Heidi in the shotgun with a running back with him, that's Jimmy Clark. Claps his hands, Heidi to throw, caught by Townsend at the 25 and wrapped up and taken down at the 34. Quick tackle by number 35 out there, Gabe Myers. You're seeing real good rhythm right now out of the out of the Bulldogs. And you see Noah Heidi, he's he's quick to get that ball out of his hands. It doesn't give mu defenders much time to read where that receiver is. You're right, and a good pickup of the first down from that experienced quarterback. He's been in this program for quite some time. As we're under five minutes to go before the half here from Docking Family Stadium. Ian Webb, Thomas Doney. Heidi fakes the throw, looking deep, looking, looking, throwing, caught, touchdown, Keontae Townsend. What a throw and a nice catch by number three down there. Some time for Noah Heidi to throw in that right side of the end zone as Townsend finds it for the Bulldogs score. Absolutely gorgeous throw, gorgeous catch, but I do want to mention here, number 20, Jimmy Clark. Uh, not only has he been running, a very good game offensively, but he is also picking up blocks there. Gave Noah Heidi a chance to hit that receiver downfield. And the senior wideout gets the touchdown grab here at home, getting pumped up by his offensive teammates down there. Nice job by him. Snap, hold, kick, and a flag. We'll stop play here on the extra point. I think Adrian moved early. There's a false start against the Bulldogs. We'll mark him back five. We'll re-kick. Get the football set here. It'll be a 25 yard extra point for Walker Evans. Right-footed kicker, the hold from Kenny Kiyama is good. The kick is good. Touchdown pass from Noah Heidi to Keontae Townsend gives Adrian College a four-score lead. It's 28-0 Bulldogs. Kalamazoo football in 30 seconds right here on the Adrian College Sports Network. The Adrian College Media Production House provides opportunities for students to learn and grow live on the airwaves, just like Matt Kibbe. I've gotten a chance to create a relationship with coaches and teams and learn more from people instead of trying to teach myself something. I've gotten an opportunity to expand my knowledge of sports, hone in on my skills as a broadcaster, and learn about equipment in different ways. You get, a, you get more of a connection with professors as well. Providing opportunities, growing leadership. The Adrian College Media Production House. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back on the Adrian College Sports Network. Ian Webb, Thomas Doney with you. Josiah Durrell engineering here at the stadium. Laura Witkowski back in the downtown Adrian studios of an affiliate of the Adrian College Sports Network, WLEN Radio. And here's the kickoff by Xander Owlette. It's gonna drive the return man inside his five yard line up to the 15, now the 20. Big collision at the 23 yard line. Adrian's number 14 flying in with the tackle, Kareem Owens, the sophomore defensive backup. Big hit on the Kalamazoo return man. Be sure to tune in for the halftime report as Thomas and I will take a bit of a break and then we'll bring it back here to give you some stats and a little more analysis on this first half. 
a look around the MIAA conference, and it was a thriller in Olivet earlier today as Trine took their talents north to face the Comets. Here go the Hornets, a first and 10. Nichols looks, throws, and incomplete. Fidkowski was lining up the receiver for a big time hit, and it was Tyler Howley, the sophomore, was open, it looked like, and Nichols put it right near him. He may have heard footsteps yeah, from the Bulldog safety. I think number 83 saw that coming. Took his eyes off the football there for a minute. It was a right on the money pass. Unfortunately, couldn't grab it. Kalamazoo works here. It's a second down and 10. They have the football at their 23. Nichols takes the snap, throws middle, caught. First down, Hornets up to their own 36 yard line. Nice pitch and catch there from Nichols to Noah Piercy, the senior wideout. Looking at the overall numbers for these two teams, I'll give you the first down totals here in a second as I wait for technology. First and 10, Hornets from their own 36. Nichols looks right, now throws middle and caught. First down, Hornets inside Adrian territory quickly and wrapped up in a forward momentum stopped at the Adrian College 40. But a 20 plus yard reception and a flag after the play. Kalamazoo catch I think was 82 out there. Lucas Hannafin, the freshman wide out and we'll check the penalty. Yeah, you see Kalamazoo's moving with some tempo now. Really focusing on that pass game, down four scores right now. They want to get something rolling here. And the penalty is an unsportsmanlike after the play. On number eight, that's the active, physical, quick, but undersized linebacker, Wade Ashman. Tell you what, he's a good one. Coach Deere has nothing but praise for the sophomore linebacker, Wade Ashman, but a penalty on that play. Here's a quick run fake and a pass and a screen for the Hornets. Good for about six or seven. As you're right, Thomas, they're using tempo here as the Bulldog is down on the turf. And he is face down at the Adrian 20, rolls to his backside, and that is Wade Ashman, and that's not good. If you're a Bulldog fan, as the training staff thought to look at him. We'll pause 10 seconds for station identification and then a 60 second timeout. Kalamazoo with the ball and driving. Bulldogs up big here, 28 nothing, with 3.43 to go before halftime right here on the Adrian College Sports Network. Is that something you wanna see? In its 2021 edition of America's Best Colleges, U.S. News & World Report has once again ranked Adrian College as a top regional college in the Midwest. The institution was named to the Best Regional College's Midwest section for the seventh consecutive year and once again listed number two in the Most Innovative Schools category. In addition to these honors, Adrian College was also named to the Best Undergraduate Teaching and Best Value College lists. Adrian College has been established as a distinctive and innovative educational leader in the United States. The institution places priority on a culture of innovation and critical thinking. This is the 12th consecutive year Adrian College has been featured by U.S. News & World Report. You can see the full list of rankings and find more information on their website. For more information about Adrian College, visit adrian.edu. Welcome back on the Adrian College Sports Network, and that is Wade Ashman, the Bulldog linebacker, walking off under mostly his own power. And they're gonna take a look at the young Bulldog linebacker as he's going to the locker room. On the field though, it's a second down sack for the Bulldog defense. Nichols had nowhere to turn to, and he got swallowed up by that Bulldog front. Justin Wiseman, no surprise, he's in on the tackle. And Another Bulldog out there. I think it's the guy you've been talking about. Andrew Thomas. Newmer, yeah. yeah Newmer Initial and pressure coming as well. off the edge. All right, quickly now a Kalamazoo third down and eight to go. 3.06 and rolling here in this first half. And 
and some movement up front. No harm, no foul. Bulldogs showing pressure off that edge. You can hear that family weekend crowd getting loud <laughs> for third down. Absolutely. Bulldogs bring some pressure. Nichols throws in zone, and it is tipped away and incomplete. Andrew Newmer in coverage as the Hornets were going for their wideout. Noah Piercy incomplete, and that's a scary moment if you're a linebacker matched up one-on-one -on -one in pass coverage. Yeah, that's great coverage there by Andrew Newmer. Never took his eyes off the ball, saw it coming in the whole time, was able to get a great deflection there. It's always difficult when you're, you're a bigger linebacker and you have to drop back in coverage with a speedster like that, so great job there by Newmer. Ian Burr out to attempt what looks to be a 40-yard field goal here. Into a breeze, gets his leg into it, and it's a sideways-looking kick, but that thing is good. Burr hits from 40 yards, and Kalamazoo is on the board. It's an Adrian College lead here, 28 to three now here at home with 2.42 to go before halftime. Ian Wendt, Thomas Doney here with you on the call. Doing some engineering this evening, Josiah Durrell and Laura Witkowski. We appreciate all the help they do to keep us on the air, keep us moving and grooving here. Looking at some of those team stats, I was gonna talk about first downs. Uh, in the game, Adrian has 15 first downs and Kalamazoo with just four. And I think they had the majority of those on that drive as the Bulldogs have just had their way here with 124 rushing yards and 169 passing yards to Kalamazoo's eight rushing yards and 67 receiving yards. We'll have Ian Burr again for Kalamazoo. Making my namesake proud here with some good punts <laughs> and a field goal for Kalamazoo. Burr kicking right to left, the run up and the kick. And he gets foot to leather here. It's angling toward the sideline, but fielded by Andrew Thomas. He fumbled the football. He's going to go back. And I think he fell on it inside the Adrian College 20. So the freshman put it on the turf and he was able to find it and disaster averted for the Adrian College team here as we are near halftime. Yeah, the direction that ball was going, I would think maybe let it go out of bounds there, but it's a good re recovery there. Not great field position for the Bulldogs, but the way they've been dominating that run game, not a bad situation to be in. Run down some clock, use up that strong left side, and see what the Bulldogs can do. 2.38 before halftime, Adrian 28, Kalamazoo 3. All three timeouts for both teams. Kezu shows some corner blitz look. We'll see what the adjustment is. Heidi will take and give to Jimmy Clark. Jimmy Clark tries middle, now tries left side. Jimmy Clark up the left sideline, a first down for Adrian College, up over the 30 yard line. And that's good enough for an Adrian College first down. And that run play, Thomas gets him out of trouble real quick. Absolutely. No surprise, it's the left side. Bouncing out left <laughs> side. That has been the strong side today. A big offensive line man myself. Love to see those, those linemen out there making those blocks. 2.15 now. It's another give. Left side. Clark. First down run. Gets them right to the sticks. And that will be enough for another Adrian College first down. Two yeah. runs at 20 plus yards. Yeah, it looks like the Bulldogs are getting back to basics here. Dominating in the run game, sticking to it, really trying to take some time off the clock, give their defense a little bit of a rest after the, that last drive. Inside of two minutes, it's a run fake to Clark. Caught by Kenny Kiyawa off that little slant from the slot. Good for 13 and an Adrian first down. And whistles stop play. See if it's a... There is a flag on the, on the Kalamazoo side. Away from the play. We'll check the call. And it's an ineligible player downfield call. So that negates that pass. And that is the Bulldog center out there. 76, that's Braden Van Orden. Started the season at right tackle but with the injury to the starting center, Matt Pillow, in the second half of the Hope College game a few weeks ago, 
Adrian has had to shuffle that offensive line. They operate now first and 15. Minute 50 to go before half. It's a run to Clark. Middle, now bounces left side, not much there. For maybe two yards for the Bulldog back. We'll see how aggressive this Adrian offense wants to be here. All three timeouts, a minute 32 and counting. Looks like the Kalamazoo defense is starting to stack that left side. It's been hurting them all game. It looks like they're trying to prevent that from happening here. Noah Heidi straight back to pass. Clark in to protect, throws low and incomplete. Bounced into Kenny Kuyawa as he would have had a Bulldog first down, but some pressure by Kalamazoo forced a low throw. Yeah, Heidi's been able to connect with Kiawa all game today, kind of on that slot slant pass there. Unfortunately, that was just a little bit too low off the ground, but it was the same idea. Heidi, 12 of 15 today, 182 yards and two touchdowns. He has been sacked once in this game. Third and 13 now for the Adrian College offense. A minute 19 to go before the half. Kalamazoo shows four rushing. They bring four. Heidi looking for Townsend. Floats it up there. He caught it at the Kalamazoo 45 and a Bulldog first down. A little corner action there. Cut it inside, floated to the sideline. Noah Heidi put that thing in a change cup. I mean, that thing was yeah. just over that linebacker's arms. That was a great bucket pass there by Heidi. He saw both defenders there. There was a small window there to get that to the receiver. He was able to float over one right in the pocket. Beautiful pass by Noah Heidi. And a timeout called on the field by Coach Jim Deere. So a huge third down conversion to keep things rolling here. It is 28 to three with a minute 13 to go before the half. We'll look at some of the leading stat getters for Adrian College. Of course, leading the way passing their quarterback, Noah Heidi, now 100 and 85 yards, a couple touchdowns today. I think they're gonna update that here in a second. Kenny Kuyama leads the team with three catches, 73 yards. Keontae Townsend, three catches, 48 yards, and a touchdown. Cole Seslar, just one catch for 31 yards, and a Bulldog touchdown. Tyler Foyer with two catches for 14. Running the ball, it's been Steven Moses, 12 carries, 87 yards. Jimmy Clark, 11 carries for 82. Steven Moses does have two touchdowns. Here we go, it's a first and 10. Two receivers stacked against each other on either side. First down at the Kalamazoo 44. Heidi, looking middle, looking, looking time. Drops it off short, a one-handed catch by Jimmy Clark out of the backfield, an acrobatic seven yards for the Bulldog running back. That was a nice catch. It was, and I like the aggressiveness that you're seeing here at the Bulldogs up. 28 to three, but they're, they're intending to score before halftime. Same formation, second and short. Kezu blitzes, Heidi throws down the sideline and it's tipped and it's incomplete. Going for Cole Sessler on that far sideline at the 10. And he was doing some hand fighting out there with the corner, number four. Uh, at least I thought it was number four. Is that not number four? As I peer into the sun. Or was it 14 in coverage? I believe it was 14 okay. in coverage, and it looks like he was able to tip that ball there. Otherwise, that would have been a beautiful completed pass down the sideline. Brian Hannafin on the coverage. On Cole Seslar. A patty cake ball right there. It's a third and three now for the Bulldog offense. 45 seconds to go before the half. They need the Kalamazoo College 34. It's a run to Jimmy Clark. Jimmy Clark tries right side, gets to the 35. Ball pops out. Van Orden's got it, and he leans towards a first down. Boy, he's going to be close as Jimmy Clark fumbled it, and the Bulldog center says, look what I found, and put that in the stat sheet for a two-yard run for the Adrian College center. Yeah, that's just being in a good place at a good <laughs> time right there. The, the big center was able to grab that ball and lean forward for close to a first down. So a fourth down decision and a timeout called by Adrian College here on a fourth down and less than a yard to go. We're gonna keep it right here. Ian Wentz, Thomas Doney with you on this broadcast. A Bulldog explosion in the first quarter, quick 21 points, then sort of a methodical 
grind it out second quarter. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think the Bulldogs here, they're still playing to be aggressive the rest of this game. They're not going to – they realize that in the second quarter they didn't put up the same amount of points they did the first, but they still had those long drives, taking a lot of time off the clock. It was very smart play by Coach Deer. And they will break the huddle here on a fourth and short. They will go for it here. They need the Kalamazoo 34 off the two yard Braden Van Orden run off the Jimmy Clark fumble. The center gets in the stat sheet. Noah Heidi in the shotgun. Fourth down and a yard. Has Jimmy Clark with him on his left. Kalamazoo moves a little bit. They're gonna throw it here. Heidi throws it down Townsend. Pulled and a flag flies as he was winning that battle on the near sideline and Adrian goes for a kill shot on a fourth and one. An incomplete pass, but they're gonna get a flag out of this. Yeah, you're gonna actually see two flags here. Uh, there's gonna be an offsides on the defense and a pass interference on the defense. It looked like the Bulldogs there saw, it looked like it was planned to be a run play, uh, but then he saw that the defender jumped offsides, tried to go deep. Our man had him beat, but that pass interference Stop that ball from being caught. That should be a 15 yard walk off unless they call a holding. And then that would be just a five yard. It is a pass interference. Guilty party number 35 for the Hornets, Gabe Myers. And that's enough for an Adrian College first down. So that's exactly what you want to do if you're the quarterback, is right. You see that. The defender jumps, you snap the ball, and try to go get six points. Absolutely, and I believe they would have had those six points if it wasn't for that pass interference penalty there. 23 seconds before halftime, 28-3, Adrian out in front. Bulldogs with one timeout left. Kazu has four people up at the line, three defensive linemen and a linebacker. They rush. Heidi looking right, throws, caught Townsend inside the 10 to the five, and he's out inside the five-yard line. Keontae Townsend having himself an afternoon with an earlier touchdown reception and a big pass play right there. And that was smart to get out of bounds there, save a timeout, 15 seconds left here. This gives them an option here. If they want to try to run the ball into the end zone, unable to get it, they still have another timeout remaining. Jacob Conklin checks back in for Adrian College. He'll be a tight end on the right side of the line with Tyler Poyer, 15 seconds before half. Moses back in the game, looking for touchdown number three on the ground. It's gonna be a snap to Heidi. Give to Moses, he's stuffed in the backfield and dropped for a loss. And we're gonna have a quick Adrian College timeout as Thomas, that right side didn't quite work out there. No, it didn't, and they looked like they tried it. The right guard there was unable to hold his block long enough for Moses to hit the outside. And that shows you right there the benefit of getting out of bounds, saving those timeouts. Bulldogs still have another chance here to put this in the end zone. Now, I don't mind that call one bit to try to run it. And they were going behind uh, a very young man out there, a freshman, number 60, Landon Banks, the right tackle. And earlier in the season, he was playing right guard. And Van Orden was playing right tackle. So when they moved Van Orden to center, they bumped the freshman out to right tackle. So they're, they're putting a little more on his shoulders as they put Isaiah Simon at guard. Banks a, a big physical blocker. Let's see what they want to go with here. Likely a pass play here with 10 seconds left before half. It's a second and goal from the Kalamazoo three. Bulldogs operate here up 28 to three, trying to add to that total. Heidi from the shotgun with Jimmy Clark. Gonna be a fade to the corner. Townsend caught, touchdown, Adrian College. He's got two. A 50-50 ball. Keontae said, I got that, and he has himself six more points. Yeah, and that was actually great coverage by the Kalamazoo defender there, but Keontae was able to hold on tight, didn't lose his grip, was able to bring that in for the touchdown. That right side of the end zone where he's made his money this afternoon. Keontae Townsend, two touchdown receptions on the game so far in this first half. Noah Heidi having himself an afternoon to remember as he got the start today and he's taking advantage of it. The extra point for Walker Evans is a screwball, but it goes through. 
and a last moment touchdown here at the end of the first half. A three yard touchdown pass from Noah Heidi to Kathy Townsend. They connect for six points. It's now 35 to three here at Docking Family Stadium. We'll keep it right here as we await those six seconds to tick down. Just a, that, that was a, a touchdown that that offense needed, I think, Thomas. It's been a while since they got into a rhythm. They were able to run the ball to start that drive and uh, capitalize it with that touchdown. Right, absolutely. I think, you know, they were trying to stick to their game plan of the run, take some time off the clock, but when Coach Deer realized the field position he had, he wanted to be aggressive, go down, and score another touchdown. Townsend now leads the team in receptions with five. 69 yards and two touchdowns. Kenny Kiyawa still leads the team in yardage received with 73. That on three catches. Walker Evans will do the honors kicking off for the Bulldogs. It's been a fun family weekend here at Adrian College as Walker Evans' kick will go and stop right wow. at the one yard line. Fielded out there by the Kalamazoo return man. As that was like a pitching wedge. And we're going to get the call on this. Not sure the ruling, but the Kazoo player stepped out of bounds. Dove back in and fielded the football. Because that was number 11 for Kalamazoo. Hunter Kiesling. We'll see if that paid off. I believe they'll, that'll become the kickoff out of bounds. Yeah, it's an interesting decision to make there because you have to decide if the uh, kick returner there had his foot out of bounds when he first grabbed the ball. So yeah, I think that's, that's why it took so long for the official to make the call there. So with him fielding it out of play, with his feet out of bounds, the ball inbounds, call that a free kick out of bounds. Kalamazoo football here, six seconds to go. Bulldogs though, up big, 35 to three. Nichols, the quarterback. He'll go from the gun and give to his running back right up the middle for what should be the final play of the first half, and it is a short yardage run for John Brunette, and that's going to put the first half of this game in the books, and it's been all Adrian College so far. They lead it big here on Family Weekend, a 35-3 score as we hit halftime here on the Adrian College Sports Network.
Crosses over, back onto the far side. Rips a shot, she scores! Adrian College is a pinpoint like no other. With our 77 undergraduate degrees, 47 majors, and 21 broad fields of study, Adrian has a one-of-a-kind, hands-on learning experience for everyone. Do you want to visit the campus of Adrian College in person? Visit adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Again, that's adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Come take in the beautiful facilities at Adrian College for yourself. What if you didn't choose to become an Adrian College Bulldog? Surely you would have carried on with your education and could potentially be graduating elsewhere. But what would you have the honor of greeting Bruiser on campus? Would you have had the privilege of working alongside faculty that know your name? Would you have had the opportunity to learn and grow in an environment that is seeking the truth and dignity in all people? Would you have had a creative learning environment that is supportive of challenging you and achieving excellence in your academics, but also your personal and professional lives? This has been Adrian College's promise to us. Just as our families have promised to love us unconditionally and support us through the many peaks and valleys of our lives, Adrian offered a similar promise to us when they realized our potential by asking us to join them. While we have been busy navigating the many what ifs of our time, none of which we could have imagined, we have indeed found the cane that holds our ribbons of excellence at Adrian to stand strong. Strength and tradition, a tradition that carries on from graduating class to graduating class a symbolic reminder of the leadership carrying the motto, no victory without work. The Adrian College class of 2021 can proudly proclaim that we have earned our ribbon of excellence for persevering through a pandemic because of our hard work. We have to, had to learn how to best navigate the many what ifs in uncharted times. While some of the what ifs have been answered, it is now up to each of us to embrace and navigate on our own. What if I take that job? What if I decide to continue on for postgraduate endeavors? What if I decide this? What if I decide that? No matter what, you'll be able to face your tomorrow knowing that you are a member of a pack, the Adrian College Bulldogs Class of 2021. Part of the family here at Adrian College are the friends we've made. These friends have gone to games with you, shared late night tales with you, explored downtown with you, and joked around with you at Ritchie. They're in the library with you at midnight studying for the 8 a.m. exam you forgot to study for. And they're there when you cried because you failed that exam. These friends are your new family members now. You will stay in touch with them forever, even if it's just liking their Facebook posts about the new puppy they just got. Parents, family, and friends, we cannot thank you enough for everything you have done for us. Thank you for the support, and the opportunity for this moment to graduate from Adrian College. You have helped us reach our dreams and goals in life. 
Congratulations, class of 2021. We finally made it. Adrian College has once again found itself on the 2022 U.S. News & World Report Best College Rankings. This is the eighth straight year that Adrian has been named to the top regional college's Midwest section. Adrian College was also named the most innovative school in the regional college's Midwest category. In addition, Adrian received accolades and best value in undergraduate teaching within regional college's Midwest. Adrian College was also named in the top first-year experiences by U.S. News & World Report. This marks the 13th consecutive year that Adrian has appeared in U.S. News & World Report. To see the full rankings, visit their website. For more information on Adrian College, visit adrian.edu. Adrian College has once again been recognized for its commitment to engaged experiential education by Colleges of Distinction, a one-of-a-kind guide for college-bound students. While higher education has changed over the past 20 years, Colleges of Distinction's selection process has stayed consistent in accepting only those that adhere to the four distinctions, engaged students, great teaching, vibrant community, and successful outcomes. Overlaid in the last few years have been a look into high-impact practices. They believe most critical to the student experience were the kinds of engaging experience that are found at Adrian College. To learn more, please visit adrian.edu. Fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. It's a 35-3 lead for Adrian College over Kalamazoo College. Ian Wentz, Thomas Stoney with you in the broadcast booth. As the sun is making a race for the horizon to give us some uh, relief here up in the booth. But when you look down on the field, it's it's been a very dominating performance, one that, you know, you'd, you'd expect to do well if you're Adrian College. A bounce back spot after a loss to Trine last week and going up against the Kalamazoo team that, um, you know, in the last few years has struggled in conference play and also this year. So it's got to be good to see you, you jump out early and you score late. Yeah, it's a good thing to see. And the aggressiveness uh, that Coach Deer is showing this game, uh, you could tell that last week's loss is uh, definitely weighing in on him. He wants to be dominant today. He wants to show what the Adrian College Bulldogs are all about, and I think he's doing just that today. Uh, the run game has been working for him. The pass game's working for him. And the defensive pressure that they're bringing to the Kal Kalamazoo team uh, has, has been amazing. That it has, and that gives us the 35-3 to three score here at the halftime break. Give you some of the numbers here 
through this first half, and it was really, you know, we talked about how good these running backs have been with Stephen Moses and uh, Jimmy Clark, but Noah Heidi showing up today as uh, through this halftime, he's at 213 yards through the air with three passing touchdowns. Finding Kante Townsend twice and finding Cole Seslar once. What's impressed you about Heidi's play? You know, I think in the pocket he's been quick thinking. He knows where he wants to go with the ball, um, and he's been confident. I think he came into this game knowing that uh, he had something to prove, and I think he's doing that. Um, my my big thing watching this game and watching how he throws the football, uh, it's quick. It doesn't give defenders much of a time to react and, and get to that receiver. So, um He's playing an amazing game. He's being dominant. He's being confident. Exactly what you want to see out of your starting quarterback. This is the third of three conference games on the slate today. Both games earlier at 1 o'clock starts. The uh, one over at Alma College. Hope traveled up there. They lost again. So Hope struggling in conference play. The Scots hold on to win 28-26. to So Alma impressing some people in the MIAA. Uh, the other game was an absolute thriller. Down to the wire in Olivet as the Comets were hosting the Trine University Thunder. That game went to three overtimes, and Trine won that game a 39-37 to final score. And if you're the Bulldogs and you were watching that game like I was on the uh, Olivet College live stream, uh, we, were pull we were pulling for Olivet because the way the standings are now, Trine has a loss, Adrian has a loss, but... The Bulldogs' loss was to Trine, so you need to have them get a second loss at some point, and that will not happen this week. So Olivet loses that game. Trine wins it uh, to keep their chances alive for a conference title. And we look at the matchups next week. Albion at Trine. That should be a good one, a 1 o'clock kickoff there. Alma is at Kalamazoo, a 2 o'clock start. And the other game at 2 o'clock is at Hope as the Olivet Comets travel down there. Adrian with a bye week uh, this next week. So looking to finish off this contest. They are, they're up 35-3 at the halftime break. And we'll take a look at the conference standings here for the MIAA here in just a second. I'll get those for you. As Albion is 2-0 in the league. Alma undefeated in the league, 2-0. Trine, 2-1. Olivet 1-1, one one. the Bulldogs here 1-1, one one. Kalamazoo 0-2, and, and the surprise of the season, Hope 0-3, as they were projected to win the league preseason via the coaches poll. So a bit of an upside down time in the MIAA where uh, I think everybody knows how deep each team is. I mean, you, you have some players certainly coming back because of their COVID eligibility to get that extra year, but just the seniority and the experience up and down the conference just shows in those final scores. You know, a two-point win for both teams today in the league. What say you about the conference so far? I'd say this is one of the most competitive conferences in uh, Division Three football. I, th I, th I truly think that um, you look at these coaches poll and they, and they try to predict who's going to be the, the top team. There's one thing that you can't predict, and that is the will and the determination of the players. And like you said, with these seniors and these grad students with the extra year of COVID eligibility, they want this. They want this win, and, they, and they're willing to fight for it. And um, I think across the, the conference, you see a lot of physicality, and you see a lot of teams uh, that are ready to fight. Yeah, and you look at the overall marks, Albion and Alma, both 6-0 and oh, undefeated seasons so far for those two. Trine six and one, Olivet five and one, Adrian here four and two, Kalamazoo three and three. They had a really good non-conference, and Hope they are three and four overall, with three of those losses being in conference play. We'll take a 30-second timeout as we are approaching the end of halftime. Kalamazoo will get the football to start the third quarter when we come back on the Adrian College Sports Network. 
The Adrian College Media Production House provides opportunities for students to learn and grow live on the airwaves, just like Matt Kibbe. I've gotten a chance to create a relationship with coaches and teams and learn more from people instead of trying to teach myself something. I've gotten an opportunity to expand my knowledge of sports, hone in on my skills as a broadcaster, and learn about equipment in different ways. You get, a, you get more of a connection with professors as well. Providing opportunities, growing leadership. The Adrian College Media Production House. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back on the Adrian College Sports Network. Ian Wentz, Thomas Doney joining you here. It's a 35-3 lead for the hometown Bulldogs as that sun across the way is getting into a perfect spot here for an evening broadcast behind the away bleachers and beyond the horizon. And it will be a Kalamazoo football to start our third quarter. It will be Alexander Owlette kicking off for the Bulldogs with a southwest breeze tonight, about 15 miles an hour, gusting into the 20s. Just a great weather day for football. Owlette sends us into the third quarter. This one will be not returnable, hits at the one and rolls back through the back of the end zone and a touchback for the sophomore kicker. Doing his thing, the Onstead High School graduate getting that touchback. So we'll see this Kalamazoo offense hit the field here first. And, you know, they did get a field goal out of the first half, but Nichols passing was 67 yards on the day, 50% completion, rushing the football. Burnett, five carries and 11 yards. So not too much here in terms of Kalamazoo offense. Jet receiver in motion. He gets the quick pitch from Nichols. Kwiatkowski escorts him to the sideline as the quick pass was to Bubba Wilson screaming across that Kazu formation. He was dropped though for a short loss back to the 24. Yeah, just nowhere there, nowhere to go there for him. Bulldogs were able to race across the field, keep him from getting a gain. Kazu right back to the line. Nichols in the gun. Running back off to his left, he'll stay in the block. Nichols looking right side, throws to the flat, caught. Jersey tackle by Sam Madrid, the Adrian High School native. Stayed here locally to play some college ball. Five yard reception for the Kalamazoo receiver. Brings up a third down and five. Hey, you wonder what kind of tempo Kalamazoo is gonna come into the third quarter with after they had a good tempo drive there for a minute that resulted in the field goal. You'd think they come out with that same kind of energy. Third and five at their own 30. Adrian brings pressure, throwing, and it is tipped and incomplete, and a big hit put on by Jimmery Cannon. The recipient of the hit was Lance Taylor, and the senior defensive back jarred the ball free in a fourth down and five upcoming. Yeah, Donovan McCary did a good job getting his hands up there. He was able to get his fingertips on the ball, make it real hard for that receiver to make a catch. And a quick whistle on the Kalamazoo sideline as they need a football. Somewhat essential to play these games. They'll place it at the Kalamazoo 30. So an opening possession, three and out for the Kalamazoo offense. Now Ian Burr will kick this one away. He's had a very busy afternoon and early evening. Ten seconds on the play clock. Here's the snap. A bit high. Burr jumps up to catch it and boots it away. It's a duck into the Kalamazoo bench. Good for maybe 20 yards. And this will be plus territory for an Adrian College offense that has really done it all, Thomas. They've thrown the ball well, Heidi with three touchdowns, and they've run it well with Stephen Moses with two touchdowns of his own. Yeah, you wonder what defensive adjustments Kalamazoo went in to the locker room made because they haven't been able to stop the Bulldogs much at all. Uh, not many negative plays for them and you know when you're running the ball well, passing the ball well, you got to come up with something to be able to stop these Bulldogs. Ian Burr with now six punts averaging 33.8. That was prior to this punt so that undoubtedly will drop. After that 20 yard punt they actually put the ball right at the 50 yard line. Noah Heidi the quarterback. Stands in the shotgun. It's gonna be a run for Jimmy Clark. Left side blocking. 
down into Kalamazoo territory at the 48 yard line. So they go back to the well on the first offensive play of this third quarter. And you gotta test that if you're the Bulldogs. It was working for you all the first half. Uh, Kalamazoo seemed to be doing a good job and making an adjustment there to try to stop that from happening this half. Clark and Moses just about even in terms of number of carries and about even in number of yards. 13 carries apiece, about 86 yards each. Heidi throws, caught on the right side. The freshman Andrew Thomas falls ahead for six yards. Heidi on the completion again, and he's been a guy that I don't think we've talked enough about because of how good the running backs have been. Heidi's out there completing 75% of his throws. Right, and I can't tell you how impressed I am with Noah Heidi and how fast he released that ball. There's pressure coming off the edge there from Kalamazoo, but he was able to get that ball in his hand, giving them no chance to get to him. 13 minutes showing on our third quarter clock. Bulldogs up 35-3. Driving here, it's a third and two. It's gonna be a run for Moses. He gets hit in the backfield and dropped for no gain. Nothing there coming up to finish the tackle. Number five, Jake Robertson and a Bulldog fourth down. Offense staying out there for now, and they will go for this thing. Yeah, it looks like Coach Deers decided to be aggressive here. When you start off with the great field position that the Bulldogs did after that punt, it's kind of tempting not to. Even being up with the lead they have, 35 to three, they're gonna chance it all here and go for first. Yeah, it is a chance that, though for the KSU defense to get off the field. What's the Bulldog play here? Fourth and two. Three receivers bunched up on the left, one alone to the right. It's gonna be a pass. Heidi looking for Townsend, he's got a step. He goes up and caught it inside the 20. Gunther Townsend having a career day. First down, Adrian College. Wow, Keontae Townsend went up and got that. It was a twisting catch. He broke away from the defender. Defender was probably three steps behind him. He went up and got that ball. Beautiful pass, beautiful catch. Little target practice for Noah Heidi. Townsend, yep, got that step. And a fourth and two as a Bulldog first down, all the way to the KZU 16, first and 10. Townsend down alone on the right side. He's alone there. Heidi from the gun, he has two receivers up top on the left. They give it to the new back, Salvatore Paterno, left sideline, Paterno, 10, five, taken down right there. Good running for that third string running back, Salvatore Paterno, give him 11 and a Bulldog first. Yeah, that left side again, the hole that was created by that left guard, left tackle, really opened up some space for him to work. I think they're gonna continue to rely on this left side of the line. Paterno in at running back still. The fourth running back we've seen today with Moses, Clark, and Ray all getting chances earlier. First and goal from the Kalamazoo five. Paterno tries the right side. Pile pushing down toward the three yard line. So two yard rush for number 28 in black and gold. We've seen a, a, you know, a good mix of play calling here from head coach Harry Bailey inside the 10. You know, they've thrown some passes They've also run the ball pretty well, so a very balanced offense for Adrian today. I think that's something Kalamazoo wasn't expecting coming in. Adrian's been so dominant uh, uh, with their run game and seeing Noah Heidi starting this, this game, I think they expected there to be a lot of runs, but like you said, it's been fairly balanced across the board. Yep, again, no Aaron Jenkins. He is fully dressed though. Transfer quarterback, it's gonna be a run for Paterno. Dancing, driving, touchdown Bulldogs! Salvatore Paterno from three yards out. A good opening possession by the Adrian offense and they follow the right side. A couple youngsters and Isaiah Simon and Landon Banks lead the way for the Bulldogs score. Yeah, if you're Kalamazoo, what do you do? He tried that left side first. There was good, good movement over there from the defense. He was able to bounce out right, push his way through into the end zone. A lean on him drive and a 41 to three lead. Walker Evans to add the extra point. All set up by a fourth down two pass from Heidi to Townsend. The extra point is up and the extra point is good. 
It's a Bulldog party at Docking Family Stadium. It's Adrian 42, Kalamazoo 3. We'll be back in 30 seconds on the Adrian College Sports Network. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, leaders who can electrify sold out crowds, got out a last line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. back on the Adrian College Sports Network. Ian Wendt, Thomas Doney in the broadcast booth, engineering for this game, Josiah Durrell and Laura Witkowski on the Adrian College Sports Network. A three yard touchdown run for Salvatore Paterno and the extra point makes it 42 to three in favor of the hometown Bulldogs. 10-12 to go in our third quarter. Here's the kickoff. Going to be returnable for Kalamazoo right up the middle and dropped at the 30-yard line. And it'll get the number. It is number 11 on the Kalamazoo College return. That's the junior wideout Hunter Kiesling. So Kalamazoo 70 yards from pay dirt. And Thomas, an offense that you know really hasn't done much. Yeah, the, you see that the, the Bulldogs defense has been pressured right up on that defensive front. So Kalamazoo hasn't had a chance to really run inside or outside those linebackers. The way they're moving, uh, they're, they're across the field. So it's really hard for them to come up with something. I, I'm looking to see them go with some tempo on this drive. Um, no, hur no huddles and all hurry up offense. Nichols, the quarterback, takes the shotgun snap. Now looks sideline, throws, jumped, and almost picked off. Jimmery Cannon almost had an interception. Instead, an incomplete pass and a second down and 10. And Thomas, that, that's ironically something that we haven't seen yet is an Adrian College interception. They have one every game this season through six contests. Yeah, and I think we'll see one here soon. Number six for the Bulldogs, Brandon Kiltowski. He was eyeing that quarterback the whole time, knew where he was going with the ball, was able to jump that. Unfortunately, wasn't able to come down with the ball, but he's moving. Nichols takes, throws, caught short, driving up for a first down. It's his man, number three, Andrew Widger, senior wide receiver, good for 11, and a Kalamazoo first down. And they use tempo right here. Yeah, this is what we're. This is what I was talking about. No huddle. They're getting their guys to the line. They know that they have to keep moving, keep this defense on their toes, if they're going to score any more points this half. 9:40 left in the third. Two receivers left, two right for Nichols. Gives to the freshman running back up the middle, met by a couple of dogs. DeAndre Jennings and Carter Sidlowski on the tackle. The running back, 42 at that time, Connor Bell, give him two. And Kalamazoo on the day, total rushing yards, 13 on nine attempts. 9-10 and rolling here in the third. Second and eight for Kazu at their own 43. Nichols fakes a run. He's going to roll out to pass. Looking, looking, throwing medium. Throws it up and out of bounds. Rydkowski right in the area of that Bulldog secondary. But just an incomplete pass. And we do have a flag right where the ball was snapped. We'll see if a lineman went downfield maybe or if it was a before the snap type penalty. It was right where the ball was snapped, so this will be interesting. Indication is it's against Kalamazoo. It is an ineligible player down the field. So they will take the penalty here, back them up five yards. And you know, that's the third time that uh, Kalamazoo quarterback has overthrown a receiver on a play action pass out of the pocket and I think that's because the pressure that is being brought number five DeAndre Jennings he was pushing him back and he had to throw off his back foot over throwing over his receiver Nichols takes fakes to the running back looking deep middle into double coverage and there's an and interception there it is. at the 22 
The senior has a pick and the streak is alive. Every game this year, this defense is forced to turn over and a beauty there from number six. And what did I say? Watch number six. <laughs> he has been eyeing this quarterback down, watching where he wants to go with the ball. From the second that quarterback dropped back, back he knew where he was going, was able to go up, follow that football, make the interception. Phenomenal play. And there is a turnover chain, it looks like. Kwiatkowski. Not sure if it's his own jewelry. I don't think you can have a necklace out there. So a nice gold a turnover chain for the black and gold. And the safety gets it done. Here's a new quarterback in. Catch is made for a big first down and a fumble, but covered by Adrian College as Jack Kuyawa is in a quarterback. The catch was quickly made out there by number nine, Christian Watson, but falling on the football and saving a possession was Ben Koloski. A lot happened on that quick play. Oh yeah. <laughs> Caught me off guard. Gonna get some reserves in the ball game. We'll try to get those numbers as they come out. In at left tackle is number 70, Derek Driscoll. He's a freshman. Jack Kuyawa in the shotgun. Give is to his running back, Salvatore Paterno, falls ahead for a yard, and that's it. Another Bulldog out on the line of scrimmage in the offensive line spot. Andwell Williams, 71, a freshman, getting some time at center. Yeah, it's good when you're in this position to be the Bulldogs and be up by so much, you get a chance to get some of your backups in, they get some reps and they can stay prepared if they ever need it in regulation. Second and nine, this is Paterno. Starts middle, cuts back left, met by a swarm of Kalamazoo Hornets. Brings up a third and six. Off that three yard run. Ball placed at the Adrian College, 40. They lead it here at home on family weekend, 42 to three. 720 and counting in our third quarter. I'm Ian Wentz. That's Thomas Downey. Third and six. Adrian needs the 46. Two receivers left, one right. Kuyawa looks, throws, caught. Might be short of that line to gain by a couple yards as he was looking for Christian Watson again who did make the catch. It'll be a yard and a half short and we'll, we will see this Bulldog punt unit here as a Good stop by the Hornets after an interception by the Bulldog defense. Yeah, and you still see the physicality out of the Bulldogs. Even really are backups. A lot of them are backups or third strings. You still see they have something to prove. They want to come out here, show that they're tough, and they can make some plays. Sammy Lafada in to punt for Adrian College. I've only seen him few times, a few being one in particular, and this punt is away and it was nearly blocked, but a high booming punt, it's hit by the KZ return man, but it falls right into his lap. As a bit of a lucky situation there for KZU's Bubba Wilson. It will be Kalamazoo football at the 26, first and 10. Hornets got some pressure. Officials are talking and I think there is a flag on the field. There it is with the 46. Deer is not happy, so I'm gonna assume it's against the Bulldogs. Deer being coach Jim Deer. Well, I am incorrect. And that's a formation penalty against Kalamazoo as they line somebody up over the center. That's illegal and a five yard penalty will walk off into First down territory, we'll see the Adrian offense again. So a mental lapse for Kalamazoo gives the Bulldogs a first down. They're gonna put the football right at the 50. 6.14 to go for Jack Tuyama and the offense here in the third quarter. Yes, Kenny's brother, in case you all were wondering. Here's a run for Paterno, right up the middle. Some pushing and blocking, look at this push for the Adrian College offensive line. He got two yards initially, pushed forward for another seven, down to the Kalamazoo 41. And that's the kind of toughness you wanna to see. His feet were moving the entire time. 
Offensive line jumped in, helped out with some pushing. It was a great, great way to turn negative play into a, a lot of yards. The black and gold moving here under six to go in this third quarter. They lead it here 42 to three. Second and one at the Kalamazoo 41. Fake, Kiawa throws, picked. Kalamazoo interception. He's running down the right sideline and he's gonna be tackled by Cole Seslar. The Kalamazoo interception for number 40 out there. Carson Dennis, the linebacker, the sophomore jumped in front of it, picked it off. And Kalamazoo will get the football after all. One of the few miscues today by the Adrian offense. It'll be a first down for Kalamazoo at the Adrian College 30. Trying to cut into this 39 point deficit. Five and a half to go in the third. Nichols in the shotgun, he's gonna throw. Looking, pressured out, rolling right and taken down behind the line of Bulldog sack for 96. Manuel Cole, the defensive lineman, the sophomore, gets the sack. And the Kazu quarterback is slow to get up. He's down on the far side numbers at the, Kalamaz at the Adrian 33 yard line. Kalamazoo looking at their quarterback will take a break. A 60 second timeout here on the Adrian College Sports Network. The Adrian College Media Production House provides opportunities for students to learn and grow live on the airwaves, just like Matt Kibbe. I've gotten a chance to create a relationship with coaches and teams and learn more from people instead of trying to teach myself something. I've gotten an opportunity to expand my knowledge of sports, hone in on my skills as a broadcaster, and learn about equipment in different ways. You get, a, you get more of a connection with professors as well. Providing opportunities, growing leadership. The Adrian College Media Production House. Thanks for tuning in. We are back on the Adrian College Sports Network, a second and 11 for Kalamazoo College. Their quarterback, Josh Nichols, hurt and out of the game. We'll see Dawson Scoopin, the freshman. He stands in the gun, staring at a third, a second and 11. The freshman to throw, Bulldogs bring pressure. Flushed out to his right, rolling, rolling, throws up and it's out of play and incomplete, screaming in like a missile on that defensive line. Big number 90, Dominico Tejada, the freshman. Yeah, he got in there, looked almost unblocked. If he hadn't tripped over his own man, I think number 10 <laughs> of Kalamazoo would be on the turf. Clock stops, it's now a third and 11 for Kalamazoo College. Adrian leading here at home, it's a 42 to three score. The freshman, Scoopin, takes. Bulldogs bring some pressure. He throws middle, it's gonna be caught. And right at the line to gain, I think he got enough. So the freshman completes a 12 yard pass on third and 11, so give him credit for standing in there. And a solid catch on the other end for, is that number six, Lance Taylor on the catch. Yeah, good pressure again by the Bulldogs, but uh, Kalamazoo able to find their slot receiver on a slant route, pick up that first down. First completion for the young QB. He's gonna fake a run and take off himself. Minder, Kyle Minder makes a tackle for the Adrian College linebacking core. One of the AC greats at linebacker. He's been on the field for a handful of years for Coach Deer and his defense. and. New defensive coordinator this season, Martin Mathis, doing an outstanding job. Second and eight. QB takes, throws to the flat, caught by the running back and pushed out of bounds by Sam Madrid and Kyle Minder. Number Was number 20, John Brunette, with a short reception down inside the Bulldog 15. They're actually gonna give him the 13, so a third down here. Yeah, Kalamazoo's gonna have to pick up some tempo here like we were talking about earlier, get into a groove if they're gonna wanna make their way back into this game. Without their starting quarterback, Josh Nichols, 
out with an injury occurred earlier on this drive. This is the freshman Dawson Scoopin. In the gun, he stands alone. Sends five into the pattern, Bulldogs bring pressure. Mender forces him out, cuts back inside the 10 and his helmet comes off and the first down for Kalamazoo as Scoopin gets the yardage needed as Kyle Mender came flying in from his linebacker spot and give Scoop and credit, avoided a sack on that play. Sam Madrid finishes off the play, so we'll have a new quarterback in on a first and goal for the Hornets. This is number five, and that is Zach Metz. He's a sophomore. He'll stand in the shotgun. First and goal, Kalamazoo from the five. Pitch play. Brunette stood up at the five, driving his legs toward the pylon. He's just short. Brunette on the rush. And a quarterback sub in as Scoopin comes back in after the one play required to be out because of his helmet coming off. So Kalamazoo second and goal. They operate from the Bulldog two. Two and a half to go in this third quarter. It's a 42 to three score. Adrian College out in front. I'm Ian Wett, that's Thomas Doney bringing you Bulldog football here today. Little formation shift here for Kazu. Scooping the freshman for the Hornets, stands in the shotgun. Surveys the Bulldog front, man across the line in motion. Snap, looks, nowhere to throw, rolls right, being chased by Sam Madrid, throws pylon and it's caught for the Kalamazoo College touchdown in the far corner as there is a flag down at the near sideline as the KZ reception was by Deshaun Meeks. We'll see if this stands as we have a conference here at the Adrian 10. Yeah, Dawson scooping. And the call is an illegal shift against Kalamazoo. The motion man there was number four, Bubba Wilson. He's guilty for the infraction. So wipe off that touchdown. Back up the Hornets five, a second and goal now from the seven. That's a killer. Yeah, that one hurts, especially when you have a freshman quarterback in there. That really was his confidence booster. Uh, he's been so far so good and quite the mobile quarterback as we're seeing. Scoopin, he's the freshman taking over for Josh Nichols. Out with an injury he suffered earlier in this drive. Three on the play clock. Scoopin will take, looks to throw, feels pressure from Jennings. Jennings chases him to the right. Scoopin looking, looking, running. End zone and he is stopped just short. Yeah, you see that mobility again by Kalamazoo quarterback Scoopin. He was able to take the pressure, move out right and get a decent size gain out of it. Unfortunately, couldn't push it in the end zone. Yeah, he is mobile. He's a quick, feisty, tough quarterback. Is Dawson scooping to third down for the Adrian College defense here. Minute and 17 to go in our third quarter. Kalamazoo right on the doorstep. Scooping on the third and one. Gives to his running back, drives in, touchdown Hornets. They just hand it off to John Brunette. He does the rest and with 107 to go in our third, it's now 42 to nine in favor of the Bulldogs. Just a simple run off right guard, a couple of pulling linemen help get the young man in the end zone. Now we'll see Ian Burr for the extra point. to put Kalamazoo into the double digit mark for the score total and that is exactly what he does. So a Kalamazoo drive ends in six points. Their first touchdown of the day comes with 107 left in our third quarter. With that, it's Adrian College 42, Kalamazoo College 10. We'll be back, Bulldog football, right here on the Adrian College Sports Network. 
Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, leaders who can electrify sold-out crowds, got out a last-line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth, and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. Welcome back on the Adrian College Sports Network. I'm Ian Wendt, Thomas Doney to my left, Josiah Durrell further to my left. Laura Witkowski, a little bit away, helping out with the engineering here today. Adrian College up over Kalamazoo College, 42 to 10. Ian Burr to do the kickoff for the Hornets. He'll send it high, not very deep. This will be able to be returned. Here is Shenard Foster. Makes a couple moves at the 25, up near the 30. And that's where the Adrian drive will start. Check the official spot. Isaac Stapleton credit with that tackle. 61 seconds to go in our third. Adrian 42, Kalamazoo 10. Adrian has a bye week next Saturday. And that sets up the showdown in Albion next week. A noon kickoff from Albion. Another big game in the MIAA. It's a snap to Kuyala. It's a handoff to the running back. And a run up the gut for about four yards. Yeah, you see the Bulldogs are just trying to control the clock now here. Uh, they're in no rush to snap the ball. That was Paterno on the rush for Adrian. Now we'll see Shernard Foster, the freshman from Detroit Loyola. Coach Deer and Coach Bailey excited about this freshman running back. We'll see what he can do here on the first and uh, rather first carry of the game. Foster to the sideline, flag on the play as he's inside Kalamazoo territory. And this one in all likelihood will be coming back, but Thomas, you see that burst of speed from the young man. Yeah, he was able to bounce out, follow his blocks, and just turn on the gas. He was gone, but I think we're gonna see a holding on the Bulldogs here. Sometimes there's a reason you get that opening, and I think that's the situation here. As the flag was thrown at the 38 yard line and it is a holding against Adrian College. Guilty one is the wide receiver out there. We've said his name a couple times. Christian Watson, I believe he said number nine, right? Yes. Okay. I was looking for him on the field but I, I think he got taken out after the holding call. So this makes what would have been a first down inside Kalamazoo 50, now a second and 13 and that might have been the final play of our third quarter, and it is. Clock runs down and hits triple zeros. Adrian College will coast into the fourth quarter with a comfortable lead here at home. 42 to 10 over Kalamazoo College. Adrian looking at a second and 13, and we'll look at that to start the fourth quarter. We'll step aside for 30 seconds. You're tuned in to Bulldog Football on the Adrian College Sports Network. The Adrian College Media Production House provides opportunities for students to learn and grow live on the airwaves, just like Matt Kibbe. I've gotten a chance to create a relationship with coaches and teams and learn more from people instead of trying to teach myself something. I've gotten an opportunity to expand my knowledge of sports, hone in on my skills as a broadcaster, and learn about equipment in different ways. You get, a, you get more of a connection with professors as well. Providing opportunities, growing leadership. The Adrian College Media Production House. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Welcome back on the Adrian College Sports Network. Ian Went, Thomas Doney, Josiah Durrell, they're having fun. It's a fun time here at Docking Stadium. It's family weekend, and all the Bulldogs are getting in on the action here tonight as they lead Kalamazoo 42 to 10 as we are in the fourth quarter. Jack Kuyawa is the Bulldog quarterback. Shenard Foster 
is the Adrian running back. Cole Seslar, he's alone way out wide on the left. Closer to the line of scrimmage is Ben Koloski, number 80. And up on the far side of the formation, looks like number 13, Darius Nichols. It's a run for Foster. He'll go right side again. Slips through a tackle and sent to the sideline. Maybe a yard for Foster. Kazu stacked up their blocks. Dragged that play out and a good job by that defensive front. And there's a person down on the Kalamazoo sideline. Looks like a player. And he's quickly up. So uh, injury quickly for Kesu. He is up. Number 50 something. I don't have the second number. Maybe Thomas can see it. Oh boy. 51. It was 51. Beats it to it. You got better eyes than I do. Lucas Gear, freshman linebacker. Not sure if he was even on the field. He may have just been a sideline casualty on Anderson that run. Anderson bystander, yep. yep. Third and 11 for Adrian College. Opening minute of the fourth quarter. Jack Kuyawa in the shotgun with Foster to his left. It's a fake for Foster. It's a throw out to the flat. Caught by the Adrian College tight end. Up over to the 30, but that's not enough for a first down. But the first catch for Jacob Conklin in quite a while as the quarterback H back makes that catch and Kuyawa had some pressure right in his face on the third down. Yeah, I was surprised he was able to get rid of that ball. The pressure was coming in pretty quick on him. Great release, decent gain of yardage, not enough for the first. Sammy Lafada, the left footed wonder, back to kick. Gets his foot into this one, and he gets hit. But Lafada drops one in at the 33-yard line. He's okay, thankfully. And we'll see if it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard variety. As <laughs> Sammy Lafada got hit, and that is a personal foul roughing the kicker. Well, it should be an Adrian College first down. And that's unique. That's the second time in this game mm -hmm. that a punt return for Kalamazoo quickly turned into a first down for the Adrian offense. Yeah, that one was pretty obvious. That defender came in, uh, pretty big hit late on the punter, which uh, he's had a pretty quiet night, so maybe they just wanted to wake him up a little bit <laughs> in this game. So Sammy Lafada sacrifices his body. He's okay, he's not hurt, but you don't want your punter getting hit like that. No. Adrian Collins first down, football up to the 47. This is a run for Paterno. Gets a couple. Yeah, it looks like the Bulldogs are just going to kind of focus on clock control now for the fourth quarter up with this lead, 42 to 10. Got their backups in. Uh, it's a good chance to try a few things, Ian. See, see what works. See who's who's willing to step up. Here's a low snap. Kuyawa takes a hit in the backfield and drops for a loss. Low snap. Give credit for the sack for Kalamazoo's 41. Adam Stapleton, as as you just mentioned, all the new people in there. A low snap by the Adrian College center. Still 71. And well, Williams, he, he's played some snaps here today. Primarily in the second half. Adrian, a third and long again. Kuyawa will take straight back to pass. Kalamazoo pressures, throws. He's got a man, and it's off his tips of his fingers. And incomplete, going for Cole Seslar as he snuck in behind the Kalamazoo secondary. Kuyawa got hit as he threw it just a bit short, but that would have been a nice catch for Cole. Just couldn't make it. Yeah, he took a big hit. Linebacker came in. He was able to release the ball just in time. Unfortunately, it was a little low for that receiver. Right off the fingertips. So Sammy Lafonda again had a three-play break. 
And the punter's back out for AC. Fourth and 11 from the 46. Good snap. Lafada booms this one high into the Adrian College sky and it's muffed but bounced on right away by the Kalamazoo return man. It'll be Kazoo football. They put it about the 21 and there's a flag in late. Some pushing and shoving. Don't want to see that here in this lopsided football game here in the fourth. Yeah, emotions are high. You spent all week planning for this conference game. And if it's not quite going your way, we will sort things out. 12.34 to go in this football game. Adrian leads it 42 to 10. Three passing touchdowns for Noah Heidi. Two rushing touchdowns for Stephen Moses. And a rushing touchdown for Paterno, Salvatore Paterno. And the flag. It's against Kalamazoo. All right, so we have offsetting penalties. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, a little pushing and shoving. Both sides of the ball end up offsetting. Nothing more than a stat stuffer. No yardage either way. A little who let the dogs out over the loudspeaker. Yeah, jamming a little bit. Here at Docky Family Stadium. Kaepernick Insurance Field, the site for this MIAA contest between your Bulldogs and the Hornets of Kalamazoo College. From the 21, gonna be a fake run, looking to throw, goes middle, floated up there, another interception for Brandon Kwiatkowski. He has two tonight. Just an under throw and the safety undercut it, picked off that pass. Yeah, again, I'm telling you, number six there, he's had his eyes on the quarterback all night. The quarterback took some time, dropped back, but he knew where he was going the whole time. Beautiful interception, way to read the ball and follow it all the way in. Looked like initially he got beat on some coverage, but not for long as he keeps the turnover chain. There it is. The Bulldog defense having fun here at home. The offense hits the field once again. Kuyawa hands off to Shenard Foster. Avoids a tackle in the backfield and gets walloped after that. Big hit by the Kazu defense. Foster dropped for a loss of four as they're trying that sweep action to the right side. He hasn't really been there that much. No, I think they've gotten a lot of luck today on the left side. I think they want to try to mix it up, throw the defense off, but the defenders were able to come in and hit them pretty hard. Two interceptions tonight for Brandon Kwiatkowski. Sets up the Adrian College offense. Jack Kuyawa in the shotgun. It's a handoff to Foster. Gets hit in the hole and dragged back. k linebackers filling that run lane. To me, it looked like it was 41. Adam Stapleton, the first one there. And Foster with two rushes. Not much space for him. As he will get subbed out for Salvatore Paterno. 34 just wants room to run. Yeah. You know, I mean, sure he'll run between the tackles if you want him to, but. He's looking for a chance to get in some free space. Yep. Make some, make some defenders miss and use his speed. Adrian up on a third down and 14, and there's a flag prior to the snap. The Hornets a little early on that edge as Brennan Panucci, the linebacker, got a little antsy. Oh, looks like oh, one of the Bulldogs drawed him, drawed him off. Maybe a little flinch. Well, whatever it was, wasn't as obvious as <laughs> what I saw. Makes this a third and fun, third and 19. 
from the Bulldog 29. They need their own 47. Kiawa throws to the flat, caught by Kowalski. He's hit at the line for no gain. So third and 19, Adrian goes conservative. And once again, we'll see the Adrian punter, Sammy LaFada. Be sure to tune in post game for the selection of the player of the game. Thomas, I'll give you a warning. That's gonna be your job. My job. Yeah, it's, it's always the color commentator that oh comes man. up with player of the game. Let me check my notes. Oh, I forgot <laughs> to take note. <laughs> Well, we have some stats, <laughs> you know. I think we'll I've heard a, through it. a few names called quite a bit, so it'll be a tough one. Sammy Lafada gets a wobbler into the Adrian College bench. That's by far the worst punt for Sammy in his young Bulldog career. About 14 yards, maybe 15. Kalamazoo yeah. football at the Adrian 43. Well, an opportunity now for Kalamazoo to get some positive momentum. Yeah, I believe this is the best field position they've started with this game. So it's a good opportunity to see what works, maybe take advantage of, you know, some of these backups being in the game. And speaking of backups, it is still Dawson Scoop in the backup for Kalamazoo. He's going to hand off. For the freshman, he's met in the hole by Sam Madrid and Kyle Minder. As those starting linebackers are still out there playing. Hand off to Connor Bell, excuse me, Connor Bell. As he's shared some carries in that Kalamazoo backfield. For Bell, that's his fourth carry for 10 yards. Adrian shows four down linemen. On the defensive side, here's the play, second and nine. Scoofin looks, he's gonna roll up and throw, it's gonna be incomplete. Looking for that little flare route to number two, Deshaun Meeks. Just out of range for him, and it's now a third down and nine to go. Yeah, pressure came in from Dawson Jenkins, causing him to get out of the pocket, and you know, so far he's been a pretty mobile quarterback, but for this one he decides to go for his drop down pass, and uh, right through his hands almost. Third down, nine for the Kalamazoo College offense. 9.15 to go in the fourth. Adrian out in front comfortably, 42 to 10. Bulldogs bring pressure. Throws, middle, caught for Kalamazoo College. First down at the Adrian 31. Bit of space for Jonah Spates as he took a big hit but picked up a first. Right at the Bulldog 31. Kazu with the football. They're going to go five wide. Scoofing alone in the shotgun. Adrian rushes four. Throws out quickly to the flat. Caught and a tackle immediately, but not after a six yard reception. That's again Spates. Sam Madrid makes the Bulldog tackle. Yeah, Dawson scooping has to get that ball out quick. The Bulldogs are bringing pressure off both edges, so it's a lot of short passes with their tempo right now. Second down and medium, four yards to go, and uh, someone didn't get the memo as half the team moved and the other half didn't. Regardless, should be a false start against Kalamazoo, and it is. That was fun, like a half play. Not sure who you would call the penalty on specifically. As we look at the Michigan Intercollegiate Athletic Association, once again, the games today, other than this one, nail biters. Alma gets a two point win over Holt, 28 to six, uh, 26, as Alma continues their streak. And Trine comes back and beats Olivet in three overtimes, 39 to 37. Third and uh, second and long, and a bulldog sack for Kyle Minder. Untouched through that line of scrimmage was number 42. He throws down the Kalamazoo quarterback, and now a third and long upcoming. 
Yeah, like you said, he was untouched. Otherwise, I think number 10 uh, for Kalamazoo would have been able to make a move there, but uh, he came in untouched, wrapped him up perfectly, open field. What a great sack. Third down and 19, they scrimmage from the Bulldog, 38. Seven, 12 and rolling here in our fourth quarter. Ian Webb, Thomas Doney with you on this broadcast. Thanks for tuning in, however you are watching or listening to tonight's broadcast. Under the lights at Docking Stadium. Third and 17 for the Hornets. Bulldogs bring pressure, throws to the sideline, too high and couldn't be hauled in. Two guarding two as to Sean Meeks, number two, was going up against Adrian's number two, Jimmery Cannon, advantage Cannon. So a uh, fourth and forever, you're too close to punt and you're too far away for a field goal. So coach Jamie Zorbo is gonna go for this on fourth and 17. Yeah, I think he knows he's in a position where uh, there's not a lot of time left in the game. This is this is a make it or break it type of play. Uh, his defense has been playing well the past few drives, so maybe he has uh, a lot of trust. Seven on the play clock. First scoop in on the offense. He takes the snap, rolls right, looking for his man. He's open, he's caught it near the pylon. Did he get it? Yes, he did. Touchdown Kalamazoo from 38 yards away. Scooping finds his wide receiver, Jonas Spates, for a 38 yard touchdown on a fourth down and 17. That play broke down and he just slipped behind the Adrian College defensive back out there. Blake Bailiff in for the touchdown. Yeah, it looks like uh, Blake Bailiff was uh, in good coverage with him, but just had a slip up there. Uh, he was able to get a couple steps, uh, steps ahead. The extra point hits the upright and it's no good kicking into the north end zone. And the score stays right there. It's 42 for Adrian, 16 for Kalamazoo. Adrian football in 30 seconds on the Adrian College Sports Network. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, leaders who can electrify sold out crowds, got out a last line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. on the Adrian College Sports Network and I must issue a professional apology to Kalamazoo College. They did make that extra point. That does make the score now 42 to 17 in favor of Adrian College here at home. I'm Ian Wendt, Thomas Doney to my left. Josiah Durrell is further to my left and Laura Wachowski is like a couple miles to my right helping engineer tonight's broadcast. Ian Burr with this kick. Will be returnable from the Adrian College three. This is Andrew Thomas up to the 20 and no further as the freshman wideout returns that kick. Bulldog football, they operate from their own 20 yard line, six minutes and change to go. And I think it's pretty simple from here on out, Thomas, stay healthy and chew up some clock here in this fourth quarter. Yeah, you don't want to have any turnovers here. You want to try to utilize your run game as much as possible. It's been working so well for the Bulldogs this game. And if they can get it to work just a little bit longer, they could take quite a bit of time off this clock. 6.38 to go. You know, the, the quick programming note from earlier that Adrian College starter quarterback Aaron Jenkins did not play as Paterno gets a two yard rush. Jenkins fully dressed and wearing shoulder pads and all that for today's game. Did not play. Instead it was Noah Heidi. He put on a passing clinic here this afternoon and early evening. Also Shea LaRue, number 99, who went off with a scary looking leg injury last week. I've seen him on the sideline with a brace on his right knee, helping out his defensive teammates. So it's good to see 99 out there for Adrian College. 
in that mentorship role. Here's a run for Paterno. Some room for him up over the 25. Stopped right at the 26 and a half. Adrian quickly into a third down and a short five. Long four. Yeah, if you're the Bulldogs, it's it's crucial for you to pick up this first down. I, the run game's working, you're picking up yardage. Uh, you wanna be able to control as much of that clock as you possibly can. Three receivers left, one to the right. Shenard Foster, the lone running back. It's gonna be a gift to Foster, right side. Some room for Shenard, it's a Bulldog first down. As Foster picks up about seven off that right edge. All he needs is a little crease to give him what he needs to turn on those jets. Yeah, you saw there, defender was reaching for him, hoping, uh, but he turned on that speed and he was gone around that edge. And that's exactly what you want. If you're the Adrian Collins Bulldogs, you wanted that first down. You wanna be able to chew some more clock here. Your defense is tired. I mean, you're, you're playing with a lot of backups, so you wanna be able to control it a little bit, give them a break. Jack Kuyama in the gun. It's another gift to Foster. Foster spins off left tackle, moves forward for two at their own 36 yard line. So it's been Salvatore Paterno and Shenard Foster running the ball in the second half after Steven Moses and Jimmy Clark took care of things in the first half. So an off week next week for Adrian College as they will head out on the road on the 29th to Albion College. That will be a noon kickoff from Albion as the Albion Britons had the week off this week. Second down and eight. It's a run for Paterno. Met right away. Might have got to the line of scrimmage. Big time hit. Looked like 25 out there for KZU College. Tommy Cardis with that tackle. Clock moving under four minutes. Here in the fourth, it's 42 to 17. Adrian College lead. Yeah, you can see the Bulldogs taking their time, watching that play clock roll down. They wanna take as much time off this clock as they can to get to the end of this. A third down run for Paterno. Bounces off to the right side, gets dropped for a loss. So the KZU defense gets a third down stop. They will get this football back, but they will get it with under three minutes. Or will they? A whistle stops play. Kalamazoo uses a timeout. The broadcast was cursed right away, Thomas. As I say, they're gonna get it with under three minutes and they call a timeout. So. We'll take one with them, 3.06 to go here in the fourth quarter. It's Adrian 42, Kalamazoo 17. We'll be back in 30 on the Adrian College Sports Network. College Sports Network, a booming punt from Alexander, Alexander Owlett. He got the punt opportunity and he'll pin Kalamazoo deep inside their territory. A massive boot for number 91 in black and gold. Ball right at the KZU 10. That's where they'll go with a first and 10. So you look at uh, the games next week. Adrian College off, so enjoy some MIAA play. Albion is at Trine, Alma is at Kalamazoo, and Olivet is at Hope. So if you're looking at the league as a whole and you're an Adrian College fan, you wanna win the MIAA, obviously, but for that to happen, Trine needs to lose and you need to win out. So mm -hmm. I know it'll be hard to do, but lean toward the Britons next week to knock off Trine. Yeah, what do they say? Your enemy's enemy is your best friend, right? <laughs> That's right. 
Well, they're both our enemies in that case. <laughs> Trine and Albion. Right. As the first down pass fell incomplete. 2.48 to go here in the fourth quarter. It's 42 to 17. Here in Bulldog Country. 20 seconds on the play clock. Kalamazoo's Dawson scooping. He's back. He rolls left and he throws. It's going to be in and out of the hands of his intended target. Brings up a quick third and 10. Ball spotted at the Kalamazoo College 9. Once again, be sure to tune in for the post game show. We'll look at some stats for this game. Talk a little bit about Albion in two weeks, as that'll be the next Bulldog contest. And of course, Thomas will select the player of the game. No pressure. No pressure. I'm, no. I'm looking forward to it. I <laughs> got a couple in mind, might do a little flip a coin type thing. No, I'm kidding. 42 <laughs> 17. Five seconds on the play clock here. Bulldogs rush four. Scooping. Feels some pressure. Rolls out to the right. Throws across his body incomplete. As his tight end, or running back rather, was the target. The freshman, Connor Bell, threw it behind him. So Kezu throws on three straight plays, and they go three and out. We will see my namesake, Ian Burr, out there to punt. I think we'll look at some D1 football scores during the postgame show as well. Thomas showed me an interesting one in the SEC. Don't spoil it. Don't look it up. We'll tell you what happened. Michigan, a big win today over Penn State. Oh, yeah, you love to see it. I haven't even looked at the Michigan State score. Here's a nice punt by Ian. Fair caught by Kwiatkowski inside Kalamazoo territory. And we'll see what the Bulldogs can do to burn off the rest of this clock as they will stay home and get the win here today. It's really all elementary. A uh, couple three runs. See what Kalamazoo wants to do with their timeouts, though. They've been aggressive so far. Whoa, Thomas. Michigan State. Scored points. Did they really? Yes. I might have to go back and watch the game. Here's the Bulldog rush as Paterno gets another carry. So we'll we'll talk about that. Uh, you know the Michigan State final as they get back to winning. Spoiler alert: they won. Yeah, uh, you know, see that. Michigan overtime doing their thing. Alabama down in Tennessee. Another top 10 show down there. Here we have a running clock here. It's moving. Minute 45. Kuyawa takes the snap. He's going to give it off to his running back. He's going to be tackled for a loss. And the Bulldog running back. Number 36. That's Keyshawn Charlotte. Listed as a junior in the program this evening. Gets the first carry for him today. At the KZU 43, it's a third and six. 112 to go. So a chance to rest up next week. Adrian is off. Then the 29th as they go to Albion. Here's a give. Nothing there. Kezu pushes the, ran the running back behind the line of scrimmage for a loss for, excuse me, for Charlotte. And Adrian will likely bring out the punt unit as we should have probably one more play. 30 seconds on the game clock, 24 on the play clock. What a great way to go into a bye week, huh? Yeah. Big, big win. Absolutely. You know, give your guys a rest, get them ready for a big matchup. I bet the Bulldogs and Coach Deer are pretty excited right now. 
That they are, 42 points for his offense. Defense only surrendering 17. And Adrian will take a timeout. So we'll see what the move is here with five seconds left in this football game. Ian Wendt, Thomas Doney with you on a family weekend here at Adrian College. It's been a busy time. Tough to find parking if you're you know, a guest or maybe you live in town and you have trouble parking. Either way, that's a good problem to have if you're associated with the college. Yeah, it was a blast to have all the families on campus, grandparents day on Friday. A lot of fun event, fun activities, you know. You look at um, what brings the Bulldogs together, you know, football and fun, right? Yep. Coming off Thomas's best Grandparents' Day moment, we're doing his top five. Top Here's a Bulldog run. Start a lot near a first down. It's essentially irrelevant as Adrian defends Docking Stadium, comes away with the win, going away 42 to 17 over Kalamazoo College. A start to finish dominating performance for the black and gold here tonight. 42 to 17, your final score. The post game show coming your way next on the Adrian College Sports Network. The Adrian College Media Production House provides opportunities for students to learn and grow live on the airwaves, just like Matt Kibbe. I've gotten a chance to create a relationship with coaches and teams and learn more from people instead of trying to teach myself something. I've gotten an opportunity to expand my knowledge of sports, hone in on my skills as a broadcaster, and learn about equipment in different ways. You get, a, you get more of a connection with professors as well. Providing opportunities, growing leadership. The Adrian College Media Production House. Thanks for tuning in. You gotta go with All that. right, we're back on the Adrian College Sports Network. It's a big time win for the hometown Bulldogs. 42 to 17 over Kalamazoo College. I'm Ian Wendt, Thomas Stoney over here on my left. We're gonna pick the player of the game in a little bit, but your initial reaction to this big time Bulldog win as they improve to five and two. Yeah, that was just a dominating performance by the Bulldogs. When you come out the first quarter and you score 28 points, uh, you really set the tone uh, as, the, as the Bulldogs did. And when I first came on, I thought this was going to be a lot of running. Uh, but then you get a guy, Noah Heidi, come out here, throw three touchdowns and 245 yards, and it tells you that it was pretty balanced. Um, defensively, the pressure that the Bulldogs are bringing and the speed that you saw from that linebacking core it's something that uh, I didn't anticipate, but uh, you love to see it. So I think the Bulldogs wanted to be as well-rounded as they possibly could. I think they wanted to show that they're not just a running team, um, and that's exactly what they did. Yeah, and in that second half, it was a good time for those reserves to come in and get some more playing time and get some experience because that might come in handy later on down the line as Adrian pulls away here early and wins it 42 to 17. We will take a 30 second break. It'll be time for the player of the game, courtesy of Tommy. We'll hear who it is in 30 seconds on the Adrian College Sports Network. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, leaders who can electrify sold out crowds, got out a last line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. on the Adrian College Sports Network. The Bulldogs get back to their winning ways. They defeat the Hornets of Kalamazoo College, 42 to 17 here at home. Ian Wentz, Thomas Doney with you. It's now time for the selection of the player of the game and we came to an agreement. We're gonna pick two. We're gonna be nice to the offense and the defense. Yeah, so 
I'm big on negotiating. I, I couldn't choose between two players, so I decided to go one on each side of the ball. We'll start with offense. Quarterback Noah Heidi, 17 for 22, a 77.3% completion rate, 245 yards, three touchdowns, a dominating performance. He was great on the air. Uh, you can't ask for much more out of your starting quarterback. All of that coming majority within the first half. Yeah, almost exclusively in the first half. Right. And uh, so Noah Heidi, the offensive player of the game, who stood out on defense for you? Well, when it comes to defense, the big thing you look at is turnovers, right? Well, there's a guy here today that had two interceptions, and that is Brandon Kowalski. Two interceptions, number six. Um, I was watching him all game. His eyes were following that quarterback. He knew where that ball was going. He was speedy. He was across the field making tackles left and right. He's my defensive player of the game. All right, congratulations to Noah Heidi and Brandon Kwiatkowski, the players of the game for this evening and for this Bulldog win. Adrian approves to five and two. Kalamazoo falls to now three and four on this season. We'll take a 30 second break. A look ahead to the next Bulldog contest. It's a big one, people. Albion looms. We'll talk about that matchup coming up after this 30 second break on the Adrian College Sports Network. The Adrian College Media Production House provides opportunities for students to learn and grow live on the airwaves, just like Matt Kibbe. I've gotten a chance to create a relationship with coaches and teams and learn more from people instead of trying to teach myself something. I've gotten an opportunity to expand my knowledge of sports, hone in on my skills as a broadcaster, and learn about equipment in different ways. You get, a, you get more of a connection with professors as well. Providing opportunities, growing leadership. The Adrian College Media Production House. Thanks for tuning in. And we're back on the Adrian College Sports Network. It's the post-game show with yours truly, Ian Wendt and Thomas Doney. We got updated graphics. Look at this. Josiah Durrell going to work as Adrian does improve to 5-2. and two. And Kalamazoo does fall to 3-4, and four, the 42-17 to 17 final here at Docking Family Stadium. A bye week next week for the Bulldogs, but then they hit the road and they will be battling the Britons. Undefeated Albion and they are just, Albion just continues to be a solid football team in the league and really in the country. They've been the model of consistency so far. Yeah, absolutely. And the Bulldogs are gonna have to go in with a, uh, a tough mentality. You know, that's not gonna be a game where they're, they're up 28-0 at the half or 28-3 to at the half. It's going to be a, a long-fought battle, and you're going to have to be as well-rounded as they were today, if not better. Um, you can't rely solely on the run game. Even though you have two uh, tough running running backs, you have to be able to be versatile, throw the ball, um, and stay competitive. That you will, and the defense will have to travel. Uh, their, their first and only conference road game was at Hope. To start the season, they held the Flying Dutchman to 10 points in that contest. They'll have to do something similar or at least keep pace with Albion in two weeks. On the 29th, that game will be at a noon kickoff, so pregame at 11.45. Thomas, any final thoughts? Final thoughts. Bulldogs football. I'm very happy with, with how they played today. Um, seeing that we're well-rounded on all sides of the ball, defense, offense, passing, running, it doesn't matter. Bulldogs football took over Docking Stadium tonight, and it was a beautiful game to be a part of. Defending Docking, that's exactly what they yep. did. A big-time win for Adrian College, a 42-17 to final over the Kalamazoo College Hornets. For all the Bulldog fans out there watching and listening, for Laura Witkowski and Josiah Durrell doing a great job at engineering here tonight for Thomas Doney. I'm Ian Wendt saying so long for now. A Bulldog victory here at home, a 42 to 17 final from right here on the campus of Adrian College. Have a wonderful night. On Tuesday, April 6, 2021, I was sitting in my office and an email popped into my inbox from someone in your graduating class today. 
The email said, Dear President Dockey, Back in August, I had emailed you in regards to the state of the well-being of the campus community during the COVID spike. At that time, I was incredibly anxious about the prospect of spending my senior year of college sitting at my kitchen table in my hometown trying to finish my seminar projects in the event we switched to all online learning. As I type this email now in April, I cannot describe to you the gratitude that my fellow students and I have for Adrian remaining open on campus for the duration of the school year. I wanted to take the time to thank the Adrian College community, the faculty, the staff, for allowing us to have as normal of a year as possible in a world that simply did not want that to happen. I look forward to walking across the stage in May knowing that I was still able to enjoy time with my friends and the Bulldog community during my senior year. All the best, Max Birmingham, class of 2021. Max, you've got to stand up so we can give you a round of applause. For those of us on this stage, today is one of the most exciting days of the year. We love to see the wonder and anticipation in the eyes of our new students as all of you anxiously await all of the amazing experiences that will define the years ahead.